Ah, yes. It's four leaf clover. Make a wish. Wish you weren't so f***ing awkward, bud. No ego on that side of Hollywood, is there? Because maybe they're just as good and we're, we're wasting time. Why can't you just admit it's over? Some people are in it just for the art. It's too complicated. It's like algebra. Why you gotta put numbers and letters together? Why can't you just go f*** yourself? Hey now! Not everyone's gonna enjoy this show. Settle in. Ugly guys, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What up, Charles? We're How are you doing? We're here. Oh. It's episode 188. Um, very, very excited. So excited, I want to sing. Oh. Um, really, I don't even think really I have happy. to bleep that. It's, it's 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 hard to tell what was said. I don't think I have to believe it. We're good. He's saying, "Why, Delilah?" You I was going to say, I don't, don't think he, I don't think he curses, does he? <laughs> He just says, why Delilah? And he starts sure. going like this. Let's go with that. That's, okay. That's all ahead. he says. That's all he says. You're on a brand new episode of... That's one thing we will tell you guys on Scrub Hop Top. Scrub <laughs> Hop Top. We are so it excited to like, you guys. It took like 175 weeks for me to say it that way, just so you guys know. That was that, and, that, that took that took time. That was... That, 10 seconds to pull it. That it was only, festering for years. It took you 175 weeks to figure out how to say the name of our show. Congratulations. <laughs> um, before we get into anything here, we want to remind you guys, make sure that you like, subscribe, smash that button, hit that yeah. bell. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Do share, all the things. Share, share, Tell yeah. your friends. Tell a friend. Tell tell your mom. We don't care. Tell somebody yeah. that you're watching I the show. Um, if you would like to, before we get too far away from it, we just yeah, we need too. to make sure that we we let everybody know. Cotton, again, we tried this on the live show. Can you give it one more shot? I'll All try right. it. All right. Um, that's at patreon.com uh, slash grub hop. Yep. Okay. Uh, Cotton, Jay, you can't you do, do it. it. Jay, why don't you give it a shot really All quick right. if you don't mind? <clears throat> you can support us financially at piground.com. <laughs> Jesus. You know what? You're right. It, oh, okay. it is difficult. That proves it's point. not easy. It's not easy to say every time. And we we really we want you to follow. And all we have to say to you guys out there is we could not ask you any harder than we are right now. Please, God, please, 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 please. please. I don't like please. that at all. You, you don't like? Can I play it one more time, please? please. Like us, subscribe. Please, God, please, 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 please. Please, please, just, just please, please do that for us, bro. And uh, and what a uh, time to pull that clip officially because if you believe in myths, it's Easter. So happy Easter to you guys. Um, and, and <laughs> he said, "Please God, please." He was talking to God. Why is that not a segue? I don't know. Why are you being an asshole? Uh, I'm not. I, all, I'm all not I talking to... to you. I'm talking to the little one. You're a weirdo. Actually bigger. You're a weirdo. I mean, before <sighs> okay. say it again. <laughs> I won't. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we are getting locked and loaded. It's episode 188. I am thirsty as all get out. I feel like I could drink uh, uh, barrels worth. A a horse right now. He um, could. He could drink a stuck pig. <laughs> hmm. All right. Let's get into it. Hmm. Hey, hey, careful, man. There's a beverage here, huh? You guys, aren't, you guys aren't impressed by that? That was kind of your good. stuck pig reference. Yeah, uh, you guys ever no. seen a stuck pig? Have you ever drank Cut. out of a uh, stuffed pig? Stuck not pig. a stuffed pig. I changed <laughs> my vernacular. You switched it on me, Dick. You wait for me to change. <laughs> All right, uh, go ahead, Cotton. What are you drinking on on this oh, fine first? Sunday Easter evening? I'm sure I've had this before on Easter. You, you know um, why? You is... know why you you're sure that you've had this before, Cotton? Honestly, I just I I, I just struggle with stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you do. That is no. one of my favorite. You do because it is true. Um, it is. This is from Hot Valley. Hot Valley Brewing. Um, this is a part of a multi a multi stash pack that you buy. <laughs> you buy a multi. Were you about pack. to try to say? Multi pack, but I changed it oh. to multi stash pack. Okay. You're a little yeah. piece of shit. No, because all wow. of them have stash in it's the still, name. It's still too early to use that kind of language, Jay. Come all down. of them have stash in the Excuse name. Me. They have the word you piece of shithead. It's not it, that 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 one. Top that one shithead. Is, 
it's Thank fine. You. Um, this is a cryo stash. You guys ever heard of a cryo oh, that's a good, stash? That's a good one. That's a good you one. You've had that, that on the show. You've had it's it on been the on show. the program before. It's an imperial IPA. <laughs> it has cryo hops, which I don't even know how they do that. Do they freeze the hops and then Woo! cryogenically unfreeze? And I thought them? it was just. I figured they went up to the hops like your grandma's dead, your dog got hit by a car, like you know. <laughs> I, I, I figured it was like the opposite. No, 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 no. It It says, it says Simcoe Cryo Hops produced a perfectly smooth Imperial IPA bursting with tropical flavor and citrus aroma. It is ale, alcohol, 8.7% by volume, 40 IBU. And it says Cryo Hops is a registered trademark of Yakima Chief Hops, Inc. Used with permission. Um, so hold on. Wrong. Listen, listen, <laughs> yeah, right? listen to this part. Hold on. Listen to this part. Oh, fuck. let's go! <laughs> All no, right. No. I, like cotton. I would never ever drink a fucking can out of a blue a beer out of a blue can. Like that shit's. What are you doing? Yeah, You're that's soft. Big it's trucks. Soft, what are you dude. doing? Okay, I got something new tonight because that's what I do every week. Because I actually put effort. I'm just kidding, Cotton. We know you're not going to do that. Um, this week, I got <laughs> something. Know, hey, Trox, Trox, yeah. you know he can't pull. <laughs> you can't pull. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Deep cut, curtain pull. Um, this is pull. From, I can't even pull a curtain. Go ahead. No, th this is from Trapdoor Brewing, and you guys right. are going to like this one, okay? We've had a couple trapdoors on this show before. This one is a super call delic. Them a pogo stick. Look at that. That it's a that is a hop. That is a hop right there with some cashed ass eyes. And it's yeah. called it's what called Keith, baby. Oh, Keith. Keith. He is he Keith. is having a good ass time. He's done. It's a yeah. hoppy yeah. dank IPA. This thing's gonna be loud as hell. It says we paired yeah. uh super delic hypes with our hand selected Citra Nelson and a flavor booster of Rewaka Hop Keith Jesus to create Did you a say Citra Warren Nelson. Booster. Yeah. What was the hop keef? I think that was the monkey. From it's a, <laughs> it's the Rewaka hop keef. Rewaka hop keef. One day oh. I will know Simba's not dead. Hi um, <laughs> hell yeah. Tonight, <laughs> you said, you said hell yeah, just like Cam Patterson. That was nice. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> gang violence. Still season of the pumpkin over here. I've had this on the show, but I found that liquor store I told you guys about in Colorado Springs when I went to the Twisted Show. Well, well your boy went call. back to the Springs last week, and I stepped back in and bought out the rest of their pumpkin beer. So we you are locked the, and loaded. You drove to the Springs just to buy that pumpkin beer? No, sir. I did it for money, but while I was in the area, I stopped <laughs> in there. I did not drive there just for it, but I was four minutes away, and I stopped so wait, in. So wait, you're, you're saying that you've had this beer on the show before? Yes, that's what it, I said that oh, out loud. It doesn't really seem like a whole but lot of effort going into this week. Uh, guys, I uh, drove to the Springs. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like about the same amount of effort I did, but uh, cheers to all yeah, you he, guys. He just drove, he, he drove 100 miles. You stopped at the gas you know, station. It's cool. <laughs> Cotton's like when he pulls one out, a spring pushes the next one forward, so he thinks that's called drove to the Springs. He's son of a bitch. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Oh, did I tell you what it was? Rogue Pumpkin Patch, baby. Woo! That's right. a good one. Let me see if I can get my label in there. Uh, we're we're Woo! gonna go to a very quick break, and when we come back with these beers, we're gonna have a guest on the show, friend of the Ooh. show. You're very guest too. All right, y'all. We love you. We'll see you in just a minute. Salute. Happy Easter. Happy whatever you're. We don't, I don't have appreciate. a guest. He's, you're about he's to be off. Oh, he's making. I he's just making shit up. All right. Your mission is now. Fucking here we go. Prove it, Prove it if you got a guess. Prove Shut it. Shut the. Hey, hey, careful, man. There's a beverage here, huh? <laughs> and he's here. He's hey. all, oh my goodness! This is our friend. Oh my goodness! What's up? <laughs> it is so good to see you, my friend. Uh, okay, uh, talk, give me a minute here. Um, uh, I just want to say welcome to the show. Uh, uh, uh I like to welcome uh actor. Rapper, producer, engineer, father, entrepreneur, friend. Brought us full records from the Insane Clown Posse, Twisted. Formerly known as many aliases as Mr. Cutting Throats. 
Orpus. Also, ultimately, fucker of goats, the killer of Lotus, my homie from way back, James Garcia Otis, Mr. Young Wicky, welcome to Scrub Hop Talk, baby. Woo! We delve into the happies and the sads over here, baby. How you doing, Otis? Welcome to the show. I'm doing good, man. Just stepping over these bodies to come to the show. <laughs> Love it. With you guys. That was my Shannon Sharp intro. I, I tried to do the Cat Williams intro justice. I hope you appreciated it. Yep. Hell yeah. He, awesome. he invented rap music. He invented guitar music. He invented most music. I was going to want to. I tried to go so deep. And I'm like, I just literally told him I'd be nice tonight. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Welcome to Scrub Hop Talk. Happy Easter. Happy being with us. How are yeah. you fucking doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. The fucking album's out. I'm fucking... Uh -oh. That is so dope. Even you keep it uh -oh. sealed. I love it. You don't want to listen to it? <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Which there brings us go. to why he's go. here. Young Wicked presents the Young Wicked Volume 2 mixtape. I gotta open one. Yeah, oh. that's so dope. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Hey, hold it up again. I don't. I, I didn't know the shield was on there. Look at you! Oh, oh yeah, boy! I honestly am there. shocked by that. Look at the fucking canonized shield. I'm really <laughs> proud of you. That makes me happy. I didn't know that. Oh man! Okay. Killer hustle with that guy. Who Trox doesn't even know. That's my boy. <laughs> That's his best friend. <laughs> That's, what I, That's what I was here. Live, he used to live in Seattle, where Trox. These was guys don't. Live. These guys don't believe me, James. They don't believe me. You know, they, I've had all my friends on the show. Never one's heard of this dude. I don't know. Call me crazy. You've had all of your friends oh. on the show? So my beverage a is a, it's a refresh purified drinking water. Oh, nice. It was purified water with calcium chloride, sodium bicarbonate, oh. uh, bottled by the Ni Niagara bottling company I don't think you can say that in 2024 <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get canceled for sure Thank you. why do they spell refresh with an e at the end of it your thoughts young wicked it's refreshy hey <laughs> young wicked I, I apologize we didn't introduce you the guy on the on your side there on the bottom that's the third member of our group big dirty cotton he's uh troxy cotton it's have true. you met him okay it's i didn't know if you knew that guy to meet you. I, I knew his face i just didn't know his name it's yeah, that's what his guy. mom says <laughs> no, my mom knows my name she knows yeah. so, so so mr james garcia young wicked i just wanted to say man the new record congratulations young wicked volume uh mixtape volume one was like 10 years ago it's one of the most Easy. elusive Easy hard ago. to find uh i get written about yeah. that record all the time if i have a copy me of too. it me too, uh, yeah. i can imagine it would make more sense that you get more messages than i do but i do get quite a few we made some copies for a amb tour we did a while back like a long time ago but can, it was okay like can you give a boxes. small your memory of that like what how did that get pressed and like what a thousand five hundred people oh, no, are always yeah, asking yeah it was probably like a hundred copies oh and, I, okay. uh, damn and uh, it's all fucking uh, ripped off beats, so we can't really sell it anyways. But sure. we did on tour, and I can gang. We know what that's now. like. Hell but yeah. you're thinking, but I, I just want to do my merch. Hello is fucking taking over real fast here, and, <laughs> and so about a hundred copies of that, and and that was I what 2015. I can't even remember. Ish. When did yeah. you have that dumbass haircut? Oh man, that was a bad haircut. I looked well, like the I guy. Know. I looked like the guy from uh, the Fifth Element, the bad guy. You Gary did Oldman. exactly. You look like Gary Oldman. Yes, yes, oh, yeah, that's bro. a beautiful, beautiful oh, yeah. uh, uh, analogy. Yeah. Terrible. Yes. Oh, man. So anyway, oh, about God. ten years or so has gone on, and now it is time for Young Wicked Volume Two. Yes, two. sir. Two. Uh, two. And this time, we're not looking at uh, stolen jacked beats. This is a, a brand new project from you, correct? The yeah, whole it's thing? All, all original music. Uh, I made all the beats. I fucking played all the guitars. I fucking sang the words. It's uh, And I mixed it, mastered it, and then I sent it off to the boys at MNE. They helped me put man the together. My boy, Mr. Grimm, did the cover. He did this cover probably six years ago, and i just been sitting on it. So... It's been a long time coming for this one, but uh, it's cool because it's like a return. So if I'm James Garcia right. and Eminem is Marshall Mathers, 
then Young Wicked is Slim Shady. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yep. What do you mean by that? You're a rap fan. You know what I'm saying. I get it. <laughs> I mean, it is, but I, I'm, I'm huge in the country scene. So, like, what do you uh, mean by that? So, uh, Garth Brooks, whatever his weird alter ego is. Chris Gaines. Right yeah, Chris, Chris Gaines. Gaines. Come on. Chris Gaines. This is yep. Chris Gaines right here. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. I hope, I hope it's more Chris successful Gaines. for you. Speaking of Chris Gaines, I'm weighing about a smooth 210 pounds right now. Look at you, man. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to make a comment about that because I, I love making comments about, about like your physique. Chris about people's bodies. <laughs> yeah, especially especially James's physique, and I feel like it's it, it is time. I think you look great. You're, uh, you're, you see my you're, dick. Oh, I bet. I, I, I mean, you can pull it out, but then we're going to have to go straight <laughs> oh, to the Patreon. Man. We're we got to go to the Patreon I have it from that. the 2006 Twisted Tour. Give me a minute. Put it up on the screen. No, Let me hey. scroll through and find hey. his flaccid dick real quick. Big ups, man. You're no, looking, I didn't you're save the flaccid one. Thank you, you bro. I yeah, I, it's, I just it's I started see. drinking beer. Is what it is. No, I'm kidding. Fire. <laughs> I was about to say the fuck you did. I'm gonna be upset. I miss me some beer. I, beer with food is like the greatest thing ever. Get a nice skunky Heineken. No it's man, it looks wings. it looks like you're it looks like you're getting some fucking uh some some beefiness on yeah, it. Like, like, it's all like right here and a little bit in the neck and face. My arms are no, I meant I meant like your arms, you know what I'm saying? Oh hell like, yeah. There you go. You've been there making you like out. some like some margarine smoothies or something? No, I just eat like a lot. It's my one joy in life. <laughs> my one joy. Oh yeah. man. Well, but but the the new joy is going right back into. Yes. I want to go back to this record. Record. Let's. We can act like we're just on the phone bullshitting in the back of a venue. But I want to hear. Uh, uh, we've heard the record. It's been out everywhere you stream music. You can pick up. Uh, or not, excuse me. You can pick it up by calling a uh, young wicked apparently because hey, he's not selling any. No, he has Jay, all of them. Jay, you know he's what he's got down there? Copy. You guys know what he's got down there? He's got he's got that hard physical. Got that hard physical. So get that get the hard physical from MNE store.com right now. Go stream this record, but tell us about it. It's all brand new shit. Uh, how did come how did it like it's a it's a solo record? MNE said, Hey, it's time for you to come back, or you came to them and said, I just motherfuckers. I hit them up and was like, I've got this thing. All I gotta do is mix it. Give me like a week, and we could and if you guys are fucking down, let's put it out. And we talked about how, you know, I've kind of promoted the words Young Wicked, the mixtape volume two, a lot for like six years or something crazy. Yeah. But people have wanted it. People have anticipated it. And I finally had a collection of songs that I felt fit for it because I made like my James Garcia record <laughs> activated. That uh, album hey, if you started out as the mixtape. button, you son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I'm just it's kidding. Like we're, it's like we're coaching Cotton on the show. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> you're doing I'm great. You're, you're doing great. You're doing awesome. Go, keep going. Yeah. But I fucking, uh, the activated shit came out more, um, it wasn't, it didn't, uh, it's not wicked. It's real hard rap shit, but yeah. it's not like dark at all. Or It or was a rap record shit. more yeah. than a juggalo yeah. wicked rap. Right, right. Sure. Whereas this will definitely throw back to and serve the fans of young wicked like slaughter style music mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there's some uh there's some murderous shit on here and then there's still some like emotional shit and there's like one or two straight up like kind of hip-hop rappy fucking ones uh let's hey, see and it's 11 hey. songs but this number three here is two songs in one basically mm-hmm. fuck yeah man favorite record uh favorite uh, uh record on the cd uh, I really like okay, fuck. Uh, I really like the intro and I really like the last one, but the last one is not wicked, it's kind of like emotional. I <laughs> nice. dug the intro with the uh, you made a reference to um, uh, you had a bunch of things like you're killing it, like, and when you uh, referenced Petey from Dumb and Dumber, yeah, I, I fucking started cracking that. That shit was hilarious. I cut your head off, Petey? Like, yeah. <laughs> I cut your head off like Petey from Dumb and Dumber. I'm sick in this motherfucker. Blah blah blah. It's yeah, I, I started cracking up because I, I, I think we've referenced Petey long ago. Like Petey's legendary, Fuck man. Yeah, man. Our heads are falling off. And anytime <laughs> that we can 
reference dead birds on this show, I'm a fucking fan. <laughs> I baby. forgot about that. I didn't. You fucking uh, hate birds. I so, hate them, birds. They hate me. So uh uh go ahead, Charles. <laughs> No, I was just going to ask. Pretty so we, we just saw the the whole track list there, and obviously you you said you wrote everything, recorded everything, played all yes, the guitars, sir. mixed, mastered. Do you have any features on the record this time? No, not uh, a feature. That's a, that, now that's unusual in today's day and age in, in a rap mm, record. Yeah, mm. there's a, there's a. Uh, I mean, I just didn't send it. I was kind of like laziness. You know, like I just didn't send it to anybody. I finished it up. And say and just sent the whole thing to fucking uh the label and fucking would so you call that laziness be, or like, would you say was, you put out a record that you're like I'm fucking standing behind this and this is yeah. great I don't want anybody on I was about to say what do you not mean, really there was no weird. thought there was no <laughs> thought behind it at all behind Shut not the having fuck up. you wrote all this shit you wrapped it you spit yeah. it you turned it in you made with no thought bang, bang. I'm saying no thought in the fact that there was no features you know what I'm saying okay. I, I just fucking didn't fucking I literally didn't think to do it, but uh, I but, love that though. I'm I'm excited for uh, Big Trox, eleven eleven tracks in a like, row of of Young Wicked. Big Trox and I were talking. Is uh is A and B? St- did you guys break up? Like, is that why there's no bones on this? Yeah, he started doing drugs and bad mouthing me in the press. And I knew it. Guy. I've always I've always I said I hated that you guy. Both five dollars. You were correct. no. Uh, so we're going we going out. We're going to Astronomicon in a couple nah, weeks. I saw that. Yeah. And when we're out there, we're gonna be there for like an extended stay, and we're gonna uh, record a new A and B record in Michigan. Woo! Exclusive. At You're recording area. it at the extended stay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was that too. if you do the whole month, it's cheaper. Up front. I forgot it's the called live. Thing. It's you called know? live from the extended stay. It's gonna be yeah. a fucking heater, dude. And, no, it's gonna be called live from the Red Roof Inn. <laughs> no, we used to stay at a place called the, uh, Nights Inn out there. <laughs> it was the worst fucking place, like the most cracked out. It always smelled like curry. It was horrible, bro. And That's fucking. Terrible. We we were, we shared a wall with Vampiro one time, and Vampiro <laughs> comes over, and uh, he was like, "You guys are so skinny, man. You look like you're swimming in your clothes, man." And then he asked me if I had Vicodins, which I did, and uh, he took like almost all of them because I was a mark for Vampiro. I'm all marked out, and so I'm like. I fucking gave him almost all my Vicodin, and that's I, my can story. I can I throw an addendum to that story real quick? Yeah. <laughs> Unless this happened to you multiple times, when I was with you at that shitty ass hotel, which I bet was what you're talking about. Yeah. You and your brother were doing the fuck off radio show, and me and the chicken were in the hotel, and he came to us and asked if we had Vicodin, and we yes. were like, it's "Nah, insane. but but he does." Like when oh, he yeah, gets bro. back, ask him. And I'm pretty sure we sent Vampiro to ask you for Viking well, hey. in a weird random that way. Because, Th- thanks for that, man. Well, yeah. well, because I, my story is Vampiro asked me for Viking in, and that was a very weird night in my life. Well, yeah. So, yeah. Both of your stories are valid and accurate. Jeff, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Jeff Garrett, who is also not on the record, uh, he fucking <laughs> asked me for heroin one time. Cool. And I, and I mean, I know I'm like skinny pale whatever but i don't know what else about me says i have heroin you know what i mean Well, at the time everything there's this really really popular (laughs) rapper who i won't say the name of who's dj one time asked me for cocaine and i'm like ah no sorry man i don't have any cocaine and he was like you don't have any cocaine and i'm like no (laughs) was it jack harlow he really he was like insane he thought i was an asshole for not giving him He's like, come on, bro. someone of your look must come be on, holding bro. out. Right. You don't have any cocaine? Okay. You've been scratching your teeth I guess for an you're hour, not bro. dating a stripper either. <laughs> All right. So so the wicked, the Young Wicked mixtape is out, but I also want to talk about... Oh, we'll, we'll dive right back. I want to go into Chainsmoker 2. Oh, yeah, for sure. Thank you. Shit, because, I have that too somewhere. Be, right, Big Chalks got that. Because... Uh, Chain Smoker Two. I listened to it, and you're you're featured on some tracks, but like the old, li- you're the only feature, the only. But feature I'm I'm listening way. to it, and I'm like, I feel like I've heard my boy like 18 times on this record. I did I did some backup vocals, and I I did some uh, hook writing on the album. Me and me and Paul collaborated super fucking close, 
and uh fucking seven did the beats but then i would all take them yeah i believe yeah. so yeah he, and then yeah, i would take our monoxide said all the whole record was seven. yeah and then oh. i'd take them and add shit i'd add like guitar parts here and there or fucking jiggy sounds and all kinds of breaks and stuff stuff that we used to call dr punch where you would like put punches in it and all kinds of flavor <laughs> I do that all the fucking time. I, I, I'm really fucking good at it. Really fucking good at it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> fucking, and yeah, man, it was like a fucking... Because I remember when the first one came out and I was like, I don't think we even had a, a deal. I think we were mad young. I mean, I know we were mad young, but I don't know if we had gotten signed yet or not. You have not. It was like Even if we did get signed, I didn't know of those guys at all, you know? It so was the, mad early, time, dog. Yeah, it was for, mad early. For all this time later to be part of the next one and to know that it's such a banger. Because that, I mean, I feel like his shit is album of the year for sure. Like, it's fucking uh, slammers back to back. Big Truck in our live show just called that his top m &E release ever. Yeah, fuck yeah. I could go with I, that for sure, bro. bro oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's high so acclaim. So for the first two weeks that I listened to it, I was on the Spotify version. So I just heard yes, the, that the, has deluxe. That has a bunch of features on all it. the features, and I fucking I was just listening on repeat over and over oh, yeah. and over again. And then on last week's Scrub Hop Talk, Jay tells me he's like, "Dude, the CD version has all different songs. It's like a whole nother album." Yeah, fucking awesome. <laughs> it's and like so there's like nine new monoxide I, verses on that. I version. got the I got that that young chain smoker hat which is fire okay. as hell oh, and cool. so i had this just sitting wrapped that on my on my desk and i was like oh i'm not i don't need to open that i've heard the record 15 times already i'm not gonna open it oh, open God. it and i got a whole nother album okay so you guys have cd players in your houses i, I do not <laughs> i have uh i have a cd burner that i have attached to my computer so i ripped it to oh, here okay. and then i and then I put it on my phone and that's played it on my Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, see now that's how, now we're talking. See, I, I have that also, but yes, I have uh, four active CD players in this house right now. Yeah, no look, look behind you. <laughs> that's fucking right. awesome. Yeah, I realized when I got these and uh, at the Grand Junction Green Book show, Paul gave me a copy of the hard copy of the album, and uh, it was signed too. I was like, oh, sweet. Fucking yeah, ass. man. So uh he gave it's me so that good. and I fucking realized on the way home that I have no way of like putting like I have zero nothing to put it in. Maybe a DVD player. I probably have to that find a DVD player. <laughs> I have to find one. So so go back to like your your behind the scenes involvement of this. So you mixed For and real. mastered this whole record. You is yes, that sir. what I'm hearing? And yeah. then you you did all the guitar. Uh so then... there was there's guitar on some of the beats before I got to it. But I definitely added all kinds of extra guitar. And, like, if you hear a guitar solo, that's definitely me, bro. That's me <laughs> and uh, this guy right here. Nice. So, hey so you're is, it not, is, that a, is that a Fender? This is a, a Fender Squire Stratocaster. Nice. But I sanded the fucking logo off. And I'm going to put a sweet, sick. like, fucking lightning bolt in there, bro. It's going to be sick. That's sick, man. That's but a really the, nice the guitar. Activated, I got a new uh, one here, bolt. too. This is my newest one. Yeah! yeah. So, so last time I saw you doing this was on the Monoxide Mondays or or whatever. His yeah, his I showed him the guitars, called. too. Fucking yeah, hey. yeah. And, and on that, him. man, I felt so proud of you because yeah. he sat there and said, he went there and gave you flowers. He, like he's oh, like yeah. you are the best man. We're gonna play the clip. Uh, uh, we're not gonna see it, but we saw the clip. I've been playing uh, like super uh, concentrated playing every day for the last like year and a half now. Yeah, so I'm it at sounds a like it. I could totally bring it on stage at this oh, point. I think it's so dope. What a fucking talent! I'm so talented. <laughs> I'm, I'm so jealous of like real musicians. You're a real mu you can play an <laughs> instrument. I think we make music. There's a difference. You know what I mean? I don't consider myself a musician. I consider myself a music maker. But you right. could be like, I'm a musician. If I said that, I get beat up in circles. You don't play anything. Uh, uh, Monoxide sat there and, and, and said, this guy, I can rap. This guy is a musician. Yeah, that was awesome, uh, uh, you, bro. <laughs> like, like he, the way he gave you flowers, I watched like, man, Hell this yeah, is dog. dope as fuck. Like, like, to think back in the day, like, like when... The, the 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 story was how y'all hated each other. 
Yeah, and, which is and to weird. Get past all that to today of like watching the clip of him, like you made my record great. You're Hell the yeah, reason dog. my record is awesome. I was like, this is fucking Fuck cool. Yeah, man. yeah, that shit felt good. I mean, making the fucking thing felt good the whole time. I was bugging. You know what I'm saying? And it's it to, so incredibly good. You did such a anything, good job on it, dog. Like, thank I, you, bro. I'm not sitting over here trying to blow you or anything because hey, we already did that earlier when we were talking about your biceps. You can, but you yeah. can blow me off all you want, buddy. Listen, I'm, I'm sitting there the other day. I'm I'm down at the park. I'm I'm <laughs> throwing the basketball around, getting ready for the upcoming uh, brothers basketball beat off that we're gonna have on. Yes. Uh, on a, on a Keep, be sure you guys, you shitheads, like, subscribe, and and be a part of this channel. You're not gonna want to miss that. It's it is the brothers the basketball brother, beat off. It is the brothers is basketball beat off is coming very soon. And I the entire time yep. I was practicing, dog, I was just listening to Blown Away, and I see everybody dead, and I just kept going oh, on yeah. those, and I'm like, oh, I'm I'm doing these songs, and then I get to anxiety, and I'm like, I, I I'm jumping through a fucking wall, man. Your, <laughs> your verse on there is like that's Whoa. awesome. Hell yeah, it's, bro. It's incredible. You and did a really did good all, job on this record. I'm a we fan. We did it all in like a two week period, too. You know what I mean? It went really. Were you fast. in Michigan to do it? You no, did it with him. We were doing it. He was sending me stuff, got and then it, we would text it. or get on the phone and handle whatever we needed to, uh, fucking for edits and whatever else. I got but, you. Uh, it's Love fucking, the internet. It's fucking yeah. The internet makes everything like so. Me, me and Bones don't have to be in the same room to do an A and B record, but we're going to for like nostalgia's sake. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's gonna yeah. be so From much the better. Day. I can't wait to hear like this project, that upcoming A and B record. Uh, for yeah. sure. Any 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 thought of a name yet? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, hey. We we already I, heard you're recording together. I I'm I'm looking for. <laughs> I thought we already decided it was called Live from the Extended Stay. Yeah. yeah, That's what we're going with. Well, if it it is. And people uh, be like, they're not from the East Side. It's it's Extended Stay. You could go with it. I had to flash that real quick, you know. Daniel Radcliffe is a good name for an album. You could give that a shot. Daniel Radcliffe by the Murder Harry Potter. I've watched Harry Potter every day. To go to bed for like seven years. So. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Yeah, That's calm, pretty cool. So calm and comfy. I love it. <laughs> you both need to watch children do magic to sleep well. You're yeah. Creeping ass. Well, they're grown. It's either, they're it's only either Harry in Potter like the first two, bro. Yeah, it's it's, oh, it's they, either Harry Potter or, or like magic. Those shows. are children. <laughs> oh, Lord of the Rings. I, I, I got to get to my button. My inners. I go between Lord of the Rings and, and Harry Potter. Or yeah, I'll watch I switch behind it up. the scenes Lord of the Rings stuff. I switch it up to, to Divergent when I'm when I'm done with HP. I go from HP to Divergent, but that's just me. What is that? Is is that where they're in the maze yeah, or whatever? Right. No, that's Maze Runner, but it's cool. We, we we can talk more about it later. It's cool. Divergent's kind of like a <laughs> B movie style Hunger Games, right? It's, yes, it's yeah. exactly that. Buster ass Hunger Games is what it is. Buster I don't like ass. Divergent. I don't, like <laughs> I, don't, I don't fuck with divergent. If I feel like the conversation was, went divergent. Now we got it to did. It, talking about it really did, and I want to bring it back uh, right now because I want to take us into a game that we've been playing oh, for. We've been playing this game for hey, about Otis. four. Oh my oh, God, you do have it. Oh, placement. I have it. I'm talking yeah, about yeah. others. Have we met? This is still sealed, <laughs> motherfucker. Of course, yeah, I oh, have. It. Wow. Real quick. I, Real quick <laughs> item about Jay Dirty having something on CD. Uh, our homie, <laughs> longtime friend of the show, CJ Lawler, posted on his Instagram yesterday that he finally found this copy of The Wraith, the one with the DVD that he's been looking for for I years. And he's like, I finally found it. I can't believe I had it. And, and I spent all this money for it. And it's a shitty copy. And I just wrote him and said, I bet Jay Dirty has nine copies. Doc. You should have <laughs> hit him up. Right. It's, he, it's on that, the show. I saw that post and he was like curious if it had a different mix. Yeah. I, I doubt that it has a different mix, though. I will. You know what it has? Let you guys know. <laughs> it has a different size packaging and additional money for psychopathic records. Oh, it's, the, it's the, the, the 5.1 Dolby DVD version. Yeah. Yeah. I've sold that seven times. That kid's a fucking <laughs> idiot sometimes. <laughs> CJ, oh, we boy. love you. We love oh, you. CJ? Yeah, yeah, CJ Lawler, the oh, professional CJ's wrestler. Oh, CJ's not a fucking idiot. I the thought you said professional wrestler. 
<laughs> you know what? He's a pro he He's a he's a pro I, I He's been on we, our show. We, he's we, a we Jason this shit on the show. I just I, I love that. <laughs> we interviewed him about being a pro wrestler, Cotton. Where were you? I was there. I, this, I just said hey, I know. I want to back me on that. that. I didn't mean that about CJ. He's not a merch whore like Lucas. So I thought no. But all we want to all we want to tell CJ is. Make sure you text Jay Dirty first and don't be a lazy fuck. Come on. <laughs> Do the Hell work. Yeah. Do the so, work. So, so Young Wicked, congrats on the new record. The both the new records. Congrats to M and E. Uh we're gonna dive in. Do you want to stick around and do a little uh, a little clip bracket game. with us? A little uh we yeah, like to call it, it oh. fat or whack. <laughs> let's you, do you, it. You gotta God give me a damn. second. That okay. CD is as old as my entire juggalo existence. Came That's out in 1999, May of oh, 99, yeah. May of 99. Yeah, that well, wild, that record, came, Jekyll Brothers was May of 99, but this fatter whack was early, maybe late nine, early 99. I got it at the Angelos at the at the signing they did, June 19th, 1999. Wow, dude, wow, wild. So I promise. the game, the game <laughs> that we're gonna play tonight <laughs> is, it, is it the Needin game? It's the Needin yes. game. It is it's the game, game show needing song. You know what? Hey, I'm, 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 I'm so glad. Uh, I'm so Otis. glad that Lanny played that clip recently, so that we I can know, have that. that was really Otis, did, did you see that? Otis, is that why you're I saying? I did. Like, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. this guy that happened to him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Hey, yeah, young wicked. Yeah. When you see those clips, feel free to share them. You have more friends than us. <laughs> Just saying, OJ. All right, let's get into some. All right, guys. Games, baby. Let's Woo! let's play a game, ladies and gentlemen. This game is known as. Oh, okay, everybody. My name is Big Trucks, and I'm the host of tonight's show. We are officially into the Western Conference. Uh, things are going quite well. We're in the top eight now of the Western Conference. Um, the rules of the game, for those of you who have never played before, I'm looking at you, Young Wicked, we're going to play a couple different sound bites from our soundboard, and you're going to rate them against one another, and the loser gets eliminated from the soundboard forever, and we're getting down to a final sudden death against our top two sound bites on the board. Jay Dirty, what were you going to add? To Go our ahead. podcast listeners and to uh, Young Wicked here, uh, this started because we have got too many sound bites. Johnny Five too is much. overloaded. We talked about needing to wh whittle down, find the best. What's our favorite? So that is what brings us here. Sorry about that, Big Trox Chipper Week. Go ahead. It's okay. It's okay. I appreciate the introduction from you, you. Jay Dirty. But no uh, reaction pissed me off. I'm glad you left. <laughs> no, it's okay. So, uh, I thought you were here. Where we are starting tonight? Now, the, again, this is the Western Conference. The Eastern Conference has been completed already. Uh, we are starting. I might have that backwards. This might be the Eastern Conference. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're West is on the left side. We're gonna we're gonna have a Zoom meeting after this, and we're gonna discuss which conferences are which. But we're, we're until then, Big Trox's knowledge of West versus East. We're we're gonna I don't know. Big, Trox, <laughs> Big Trox's alcohol content and his beer is more like it. I, Yo, and I'm on half of one beer. Half All right, where are beer. we, Rat Fan? You little fucking ninety now, third. Let's go. Piece the of first shit. the first soundbite for tonight's round is. <laughs> Oh, oh man, that's God. always a classic. That's a good one. That's a and, solid and, and, and to the podcasters, I hope you're listening to this show in your ears. I'm like Young Wicked. That sound, it has such an intense feeling when it's just in your whole head. Play it again. <laughs> so, now, so, for those of you that don't know, Jay Dirty, can you can you tell the audience what that is a soundbite of? We are watching <laughs> a very large know. man in a gym trying to do a leg press with too much weight. And as it comes down, as he pushes back up, he shits the fuck out of his pants. <laughs> <laughs> it is such a funny fucking video, man. Oh, and that is what it, real? and he looks around like, I hope nobody saw that. <laughs> I yeah. heard that. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. That, that's, that's, the a full public, release. that's a public shit, Otis. I can't <laughs> believe that's a real shit sound. Oh, it is, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, so, so go we don't fuck around on this podcast, James. Yeah, we're not doing oh, fake shit wow. show sounds around here. That's crazy. <laughs> we're That's fucking dedicated, crazy, dude. All right. Okay, now, the shark sound tonight is going... Now, this one is a longtime fra favorite. 
Uh, the, the, shirt, the shirt sound is going up against. This is not about the photography. This is about God. <laughs> um. See. Okay. Cotton, Cotton can you explain is... this? Explain this quote to, to this Mr. is here. this is a guy who's officiating a wedding and um he is getting so upset with the photographers that are taking pictures of the bride and groom and they're getting like right up in his grill while he's going through his officiating and he stops officiating to grill them and be like the first hey, the first thing he says is up. please sirs leave Thank you. <laughs> That's the first thing. And, and they then don't he, he goes he goes on to a soliloquy about how this is all about God and and you 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 guys are not respecting this uh, this uh, fucking sacred uh, wow. assembly in it front is... of the bride and groom. It's cool. yes. Wow. Yes. And the bride so, and groom are looking at each other like we asked this is fine. We wanted this. Like right. this, we, we're paying we, you we paid to them. Here. Yeah. So this all belongs to us. Oh man. <laughs> Why? All of that story to and the first one goes, a guy shit in public. Yet yeah. both worthy competitors. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Okay. Um, you vote? I'm ready. All right. How do you ah uh, let Otis go first? Why don't yeah, you, you go first lead on this? What, okay. what you are not emotionally invested in this? This is hard. Yeah. To- I'm, no, I'm curious. Super easy for me. That fucking officiator guy is so fucking annoying that he's got to get out of here. Okay. So he's whack, and the shitting is a fat shit. Oh, okay. wow. The guy, the good, guy good was vote. so fat, too. It's like you've seen the clip. Good vote. <laughs> it looked like the male version of Precious. Like, this dude was a big one. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, his name was Precious. Oh, All right, uh, Troxy Cotton, where are you at? Um, I am. I'm struggling. I'm struggling with this one pretty, <laughs> pretty difficultly because now, I will just thing. remind you, Cotton. There is still that other clip from our pastor friend. That please, I sir, have please. On. Yes, yes. I, I'm, I'm keeping that. Wait, wait. I'm keeping that work, in right? mind. I'm keeping in mind the fact that we do still get to keep Please Sirs Leave, which oh we do goodness. play more than this is uh, uh, this not is a about a photography the beginning. He shouldn't have been on there twice. I didn't know um, he was on there twice. Oh, he's on there multiple times. He's, he's on there multiple times. We've used that There's, dude for, like, multiple parts of that speech have been on the soundboard. For I sure. didn't re- I've probably voted for him every time he shows up because I know what he looks like. I know his demeanor. <laughs> I know how much he is. I got oh, that's the thing. He's so mad. Um, Please, sirs, leave. He's like so an good. angry Q-tip. This is about, like, this this is not about the photography nothing. session. This is about God. He's he like goes, a Q-tip come to life. Where are you? I gotta mm. know. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go photography session just because what that clip means to me. It means so much. I think about it so regularly. Wait, it's that, that you want it to stay or it's wet? Yeah. It has to stay. It has to stay. I need it to stay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need it to stay. So that's all right, Jay, that's, Jay Dirty, you are the deciding vote this week. The shirt's good. The shirt is in like it's it's objectively good. You can't argue that that shirt sound isn't funny. Do, try. This Go sucks. Ahead. Like, I wish I knew what the other one was up against, but also, I'm vo- we got to stick with this. It's like, no, you don't. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Stop thinking about the next two. Is it coming up tonight? Yes. The next one that you're getting is going to be way too, it's going to be way harder than this one. The preacher's back tonight. No, no, no. That'll be next week. This sucks, Dixon, man. Like, fuck. Um, <laughs> because the He's preacher is so, so great he's so good but we do have mul- we have multiple clips there's even so funny. there's even a third there's even a third clip that we haven't discussed from that him I have on the board yeah what is it oh, Play it right. on this you don't board? Remember. there's a minute of this guy fucking the- here's the other one this is a solemn assembly not a <laughs> photography <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good everything everything he said is so good Oh please, my God, please. What an asshole. Yeah, I got to go. I, I I don't care how many times he's on the board. <laughs> I'm keeping him. We're losing the, we're losing the shirt. We're oh, losing the sorry. shirt. The shit sound. All right, well, back. Ladies and gentlemen, uh you have it here. The 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 verdict is in and uh round 1. <laughs> uh 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 That shit was what? 
those <laughs> pages were really far away from each other, and hopefully that won't happen again. You found uh, it. Congratulations. The winner, the winner for that one is photography I session. I can't believe you and... pulled three clips of that guy just for our board, and I haven't <laughs> noticed until week seven or whatever this is. Bro, there's a lot of. I love him gold. so much, though. Dude, like I have like 14 pages on this sound. In the last you don't 10 understand. years, he's been in my life more than my father. Like I had, I love that man. <laughs> <laughs> he means something to me okay okay a now assembly not a photography not, not a photography Session. Session. <laughs> <laughs> he takes a pause like he glitched it's fucking hilarious he's all right so upset. Now, he's so upset i have uh, i have arguably if i'm ever gonna suck a dick it'll be that preachers <laughs> promise That'll be on the round seven of this game. That's the scrub up talk guarantee. <laughs> no, oh, tell me, yes. tell me how you're gonna rate this one, okay? I don't I, I have a feel I know how I would pick, but I'm not the judge here. I'm just the facilitator. Uh our clip number one for round two is Fuck Swim, Fuck boy. Keep 12. it there. Oh, <laughs> that's how I've been <laughs> That's how I've been living. Fuck 12, oh, this, boy. This is so, a super <laughs> bitchy-ass Cherry Creek fucking living kid. Like, yeah. Because you're oh, from boy. here. You understand. Yeah. yeah. Like, skinnier, skinnier than you were back when people were asking you for heroin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> skinny no. white boy. No. Yeah, skinny white boy. He looked a lot like this guy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that fucking haircut. Here, tell me I was wrong by that haircut comparison. What Big the fuck is that fucking hair? I wish I could do with the like... boys. <laughs> um so he's like a nerdy ass preppy kid and he gets in the back of the a cop car fuck 12 boy i'm being he's, he's, he's being like he's being arrested later, and driven off to the police raped. oh wow like for yeah. sure he got he's being arrested. For real. he got sodomized can i hear All it right, again what's the next clip oh yeah yeah, yeah. hear oh. it 12 times we love him fuck 12 fuck boy keep 12, it that way that ha ha, you could. He's ha -ha. That's yeah. good. That's a nervous ha ha. <laughs> as, and he's riding away in a cop car, as he's saying. Good thing he's a rap band because he's about to meet all of Tupac's friends. Yeah. Fuck twelve boy, ha -ha. I'm scared. No, no. Fuck twelve boy, how I've been living is going up against. Not again, no. Oh. <laughs> Otis, this one, a woman yeah. is live on the news. And they cut to her to like tell a story, and she's like, "All right, next up on that." She oh. just fucking, she just fucking falls. She like out fa of the desk. she faints right. and like hits her head on the desk and just collapses. And, and the weather girl goes, "Ooh, not again!" As if, <laughs> as if this is a common occurrence for Karen. This happens all the time. Yeah. So not again. again. No. Oh, and if you yeah. if you listen if you listen real close as she's saying not again you can you hear, hear thud head. in the background from yeah, where she's, she's laughing around. she's laughing yeah. <laughs> hear the thud of her head on the desk hit it one, one more one more one more time not again no oh <laughs> oh yeah Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> going up against fuck twelve is how I've been living yeah, I can't I feel like go ahead no I can't right. you go ahead okay, I can't I don't call me a goat head. <laughs> anyway, uh, fucking I feel like uh you Back keep the, the you keep the no not again one because it can apply better in conversation and the other one is like hard to hear and just a little too deep of a cut for people to like be like oh that was fuck makes sense in context with this podcast we're watching you see what I'm saying so interesting and, 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 like and that's a, why that's why I want your vote no this not again vote in should stay but, and uh fuck 12 should go straight to fucking jail bro man man that was like in the form of a production note he just gave us that vote that was good i like that thank you but, but um, without without all of the things you just said just boom boom funny to funny you still agree with yourself Oh no! If we're judging based on funny, that fuck twelve one is funnier. <laughs> <laughs> I was How I've been, Lou. Did you get my living. email? We're doing a comedy show. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But I mean, <laughs> no, no, of, I get you. No, uh, you're, that was totally fair, and I yeah. appreciate yeah. your evaluation. I, I, I got right. 
I, 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 I agree with our boy John Wick because I also have voted that way in the past where I've been like, hey, this one we've used more on the show. It has more versatility on the show. Yep. That's a good reason for it to stay. And I do think about not again being a thing that you're saying when you're watching someone pass out. As and like I will a, say it, I, it's very funny. That is it's, as the producer it's not funnier than fuck twelve, but it is very funny. As the producer, I will say that I push the not again no button a lot more than I push the other button. There you, you do, go. you do. But the truth is, the truth really is that fuck twelve boy. That's how I've been living, and you do need to have some respect for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And hey, I, I think it's one of the funniest buttons on the board. But that's just because I picture that kid in the cop car every single time I hear it. <laughs> that's so. the thing. So, no, you guys this. have seen the clips, but the average yeah. listener hasn't. Yep. Mm. No, the Jane average is dirty? as you haven't. Well, yeah, 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 they're yeah. averagely listening. They have seen it. Or watcher. <laughs> Thank averaging, you. I just wanted to listening. say that. Averagely. I, averagely <laughs> listening. Can I, I wanted to respond to, to Troxy Cotton's evaluation of the clip there. Mm-hmm. Just because you just said he was right, he doesn't love you now. It's not going to change <laughs> the past. He does. Like, like, why don't I you am, think for yourself? He, like st- fucking... he still doesn't know who you are. I have like, Instagram not... messages that prove it. I can, I can show yeah. you my DMs. He calls you Troxel Cotton. He doesn't know. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, I guess I voted out no matter what I say. But I love not. I love not again. But man, fuck twelve. Like I love that kid so much because I know he cried so hard twenty minutes after that. You know, he, he is straight up fresh fish. He's the guy who gets killed the first night in the infirmary. Like, you know what I mean? Shawshank style. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm God. telling you. Oh, I'm supposed to be here. Um, Mama, that's I love clip. you. Mama, I love you. Mama, I love you. Hold it down. Hold it down. So, I guess fuck 12 is I'm legally blind. Fuck yeah, 12. say, say a big truck. All right. All right. Uh, oh, shit. Where'd my button Press go? Press the button. Uh, uh, shut your mouth. The button, oh, grandma. After everything that, everything no, he went I, through, I thought we were I was kind of show I was way too excited. Now my now my button wasn't ready. God, what I feel so bad this? about this. Jesus oh. Christ! We finally get a a, a professional. Foot twelve, boy. Oh, Keep it that way. That shit was black. <laughs> Fuck you guys! Ah, I just couldn't yeah, find the button. Man. You did Hell great, yeah, All right. man. Not again. No mix. Well, the next couple are also going to be really difficult for you guys this to figure game, out. We're, we're still on the Eastern Conference. What's going on? We got two, we got two more Did tonight. You just we have two go more duels puberty tonight. during the Eastern Conference. What the fuck? Yeah, I've happened? been I, I've, I've I've been struggling with my voice for the past. Cotton, week since so the beginning of this, we've done we've done four every week. We've done two so far. Okay, I got I got to rock. Wick, I, I got to rock a wicked piss. We got to we got to move this along. Hey, we're, hey, we're doing promo here. Say a young wicked piss. <laughs> oh, I got I got to rock a young wicked piss. Let's go uh, ahead. Shit. <laughs> Available Maybe now. Roxy, piece of shit. <laughs> Mixtape volume two. <laughs> All right. The first clip number for round one, not for sale. <laughs> the first clip for round three is. Everybody, give me everything. <laughs> God, I love him so much. Okay. I explained this clip to my children the other night because I couldn't stop saying it at dinner. It's probably gonna vote for everybody. This. Give me everything. I'm probably gonna vote for this. Everybody, What's give it? me uh, everything. Explain it to explain it to to James like you're explaining it to your children at dinner. Go ahead. Uh so this motherfucker walks into a fucking nail salon. These motherfuckers. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't curse at my kids. Uh, <laughs> um, so no, nah, dog. This guy runs into a nail salon with his like fucking finger gun. Oh, by yeah. the way. Oh, and they ignore him. And yeah. they all ignore him. Yeah, and he's like, everybody, awesome. give me everything. And he's finally like, all right, have a good day. <laughs> like, I'm. And then he just walks out. Because <laughs> nobody gives a. Fuck, and it's so funny. So you've it's seen really that. So good. Seen you that. are emotionally attached. Yeah. Welcome to Scrub Hop Talk, yeah. bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm here now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. Every, sorry, everybody get that. I want you to come back. Everybody give me everything <laughs> is going up against. I'm actually fine. <laughs> I'm actually fine. Now I'll explain this one. This is a clip of a guy that is trying to like parkour on the side of a building and he falls off the building. Like and three stories. 
Yeah, and he lands on his side like really precariously, and everybody above him is like, "Oh my God, are you okay?" And he says, "I'm actually fine." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but but Otis, the problem is when he when he did it, he was from Brooklyn. When he fell, he had that accent. <laughs> like, he's not fine. He got hurt. I'm actually Played fine. Again. I'm actually fine. <laughs> so again, now again, round three. This is everybody give me everything. <laughs> Going up against. I'm actually fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My vote to keep is everybody give me everything because I've seen it. It's hilarious. And uh, that other one's really short and kind of distorted, kind of hard to make out. You know what I mean? Yep. So fuck that one. And that with that voting scale, Troxel, uh, Troxicon's dicks out of the equation, too. <laughs> it's yeah. in the equation. It's in the I equation. Oh, no, it's kind of short and distorted. <laughs> distorted. <laughs> Yo, my boy got a distorted dick. No. Um, <laughs> uh, no I will. <laughs> young distort. Short, short, um, a little, little left. You know, here's the deal. Just to when play. Uh, quotes, like, <laughs> we're doing plenty of movie quotes. Just because I, I really want him to like me, I'm gonna. I'm distorted dick. Just, ju just, uh, ju just because just I really you want, want him to be your friend. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go with everybody. Give me everything because I agree with him. I think he makes a lot of really good points. And um, no, here's the deal. It is a better clip. We do play it more. There's no True. question here for me, Jay Dirty. You go ahead. Go ahead. Me? Yes. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. You know how you get your friend Otis to be your friend? <laughs> That's not, oh, yeah, there you go. You get, you get, magic tattoos. You get a tattoo. Mike. Hello. You tattoo. get magic tattoos 20 years ago. Okay, pal? Um, right. I damn. agree with you both. a long time ago. I That's agree right. with you both. I could tell you the exact date if you give me a minute because it was the night before the strange uh, Sage Francis show at the Gothic. Wow, so bro, weird. you got a fucking brain on you. I'm telling you what. Uh, <laughs> well, I agree with both of you. I got to keep everybody give me everything. There's and, no way that beats. Uh, actually, I'm fine. So you know what that means, <laughs> yeah. guys? You know what that means? I might be fine. That shit was wild. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are out. We are on to the fourth and final round of this evening. Thank you so much for playing. I'm this is crazy. Uh, for the final round tonight, now this one's a lot of fun, and this one also, <laughs> even as I look at the buttons, they both make me giggle. So we are going to start from that before. Bitch. The first one is we this. Both, right? <laughs> you your side bitch on the side of a building. Oh, Have a good night, man. Oh, play <laughs> it again. I won't talk over it. Play it again so Otis can hear Okay, don't talk over it. You're a side bitch on the side of a building. Have a good night, ma. <laughs> Have a good night, ma. There is a there's a guy whose wife comes home, so his side bitch in her drawers is hanging off the side. Oh, of the I've building. seen that too. Yeah, yeah. And, she and right falls. after he says that, she falls. She, <laughs> good night, ma. Bro, and she like, lets like go. The fucking stock market hits. A side the bitch ground. on the side of a building. Good night, good night, ma. Good night, ma. What is that going up against? You, you're a side bitch on the side of a building. Have a good night, ma. Okay. <laughs> Have a good night, ma. Now that one is going up against a Troxy Cotton oh. quote, and this is our first Troxy Cotton quote of the game tonight. Now, what? now, Otis, what we've done in this game of we've we've interspersed different quotes from the guys on the show as well to it, it, like mix into the game. You're only getting one so far tonight, which is okay. is amazing because in other weeks it's been like five in a row. But gotcha. what, do, what do I say? Side side bitch on the side of a building is going up against. If you were to get like a passionate blowjob from an alligator and it didn't bite your dick off, you might feel pretty powerful. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> true. I do still agree with that. Sentiment. Only because I remember oh. the clip. Wholeheartedly, I do still agree with that sentiment. I do think that that's just like a take that good luck disagree disagreeing with that. That's that's, that's real. Funny, that's bro. very so, real. I don't know how you would use it. <laughs> In a contextual like conversation on a podcast, but my vote is for to keep the Troxy one because that shit made me laugh immediately. Way harder. Whereas the other one, it's funny and it's funny to think about, but it doesn't. It's not as good as hearing him talk about passionate alligator blowjobs. 
and the powerful and, feelings and, you and get. And the, the you, button is just called blowjob from an alligator. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> And if you'd seen some of his past girlfriends, you'd know why he said that. (laughs) That's not true. That's not true. Play it one more time. I do want to hear the pull again. He can't pull. I (laughs) I can't. I can't even pull. I want to. I play play them both again because I just want to hear. All right. So the first. Keep in mind, Young Wicked here Mm. has seen the fucking side bitch clip. (laughs) <laughs> and still voted. For... Yeah, that shit was funny, bro. <laughs> so I'm just saying that that's a that's a high praise. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate We're that. Friends. I just... <laughs> so, uh, right, now that's gonna be what he asked us to clip. That's gonna be. <laughs> I guarantee you, that's the clip now. I don't <laughs> want it. I don't want that clip. I don't want it. <laughs> Out of the building. Have a good night, ma. Literally for the last 17 weeks, whoop, whoop, you have asked, please get Otis back. Please have him say he loves me. (laughs) Ask him if he can just say that he's my friend. I really (laughs) want to talk about it. Any of the things you said. So is that our final thing of the night? Let's hear it. Do you want to hear it? Let me me hear it one more time. Let me hear them both again. Jay Jay was uh, blabbering over the first one. I need to hear them both again, please. Thank you. Final (laughs) for This is it. You gotta bleep that. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it registered, but I will still. I still will. Um, All right. Go ahead. All right. The first one is. You're a side bitch on the side of a building. Have a good night, ma. <laughs> going up, going up against. If you were to get like a passionate blowjob from an alligator and it didn't bite your dick off, you might feel pretty powerful. You know what I mean? Like. It's for me. It's the you know what I mean at the end of the clip. That's what, it keeps me coming back every time. I think about that clip all the time, and it's the you know what yeah, I mean. Serious talking about that shit. I'm I'm focused on the word passionate. Like what is that? Like what what? Like do they make eye contact? Do they use tongue? Well, like what makes what, what makes it side. not so it good compared to passionate? They can't make eye contact from the front or underneath <laughs> because that's not how alligator eyes work. How do you usually get blowjob? Are you on the side? You're on high. I would have to be a side (laughs) blowjob. I'm just saying. I'm not (laughs) saying (laughs) that's what makes it passionate. I'm saying what makes you what makes it passionate really is effort, and that's what you notice (laughs) as a recipient. Like, so does a passionate uh, alligator like grab your dick and do the roll? Oh my god. <laughs> death roll. Yo, that death alligator roll. will death roll your dick. Yeah, like, thank you. Business. Um, <laughs> you look like that little guy from uh, Wolfpack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I agree with Young Wicked. I think my alligator take is good. I think it needs to stay on the program. Um, <laughs> although. Uh, you know, side chick hanging off the side of the building is great. Do you remember uh, that guy, Otis? I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna derail. He used to throw him in the crowd. Yeah, but like, I he he had like this tattoo that I was like, is that your wrist or your armpit? Like, I never quite understood. I was so confused by that dude. He was a cool <laughs> guy. Like, as a human being, good, good guy. You know? Are you saying was like past tense? Uh, he lives. I'm pretty sure he's alive. Oh, he lives. You said that like like it was Frankenstein. Jay, I I want to hear your opinion. Although I don't think your your answer doesn't matter because blowjob from an alligator already won. But I want to hear your opinion. No, it is a funnier overall clip. Um, If we had video, it'd be a harder debate. But but this isn't the video. This isn't the video contest. Yeah, no. Alligator blowjob is definitely fat. Compared to side bitch side of a building. Wow. Shut All up. right. Well, hey, I didn't, you know I didn't think that could get beat, but I didn't either. Did Rihanna. Just get right. Ra- <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Just get. Ra- He's going. No, to no you gotta I, stay great. No, no I gotta bleed the there. Oh my god. Oh, what? You gotta say great. <laughs> what? Great. I I started to speak, but Jay said something so offensive that I I stopped mid sentence. Uh, somehow Otis beat me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what the way he, that he that ends to it is you your side bitch on the side of a building. Have a good night, ma. That shit was black. <laughs> okay, Ella, Ella, ladies and gentlemen. Ella, 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 this Ella, has Ella, been Ella, Ella. <laughs> This has been another week of fat or whack. Now, just as a reminder, uh here is our bracket and butt fucker <laughs> 3000. <laughs> Yep. Do you know so, that clip, uh, uh, Mr. Wicked? No. 
<laughs> Wait, can we play? Can we just have a quick rep? It's not actually, okay. It hey. hasn't lost. We're okay, just guys. Just to down, show him where we're going. We're down we're going to the through. elite. We're down to the elite eight. Uh, it's it's going down in the next week. We're we're getting through all of the elite eight, and then we're going to get, get down our to the final elite four. eight. For we can't judge. Well, we can't vote. We're not judging. Zero. We're not. We're not playing the game anymore. We're down to the elite eight. Now it's going to be uh, next week. We're going to start off. I got to get up back to the first page. Jesus. This bro. sucks. Uh, dick. I know this. The first round is going to be. Your name's not butt fucker 3000. Yo ho. <laughs> <laughs> going up against. Those are my friends. Those are children. <laughs> that's that's so. This is going to be the worst week ever. Yeah, going up. Going up against. I'm okay with soft. I'm okay with big. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that one, that one is going up against. Yeah, I'll suck your cock for a thousand dollars. I have a feeling it's that was you guys who said yeah. that. That's yeah. going to be a tough one. That is going to be a tough gonna, one. That's that's a bracket buster right there. Um, <laughs> that, then go flipping over. Our to winners the other from stuff, tonight. On the, the winners from tonight, we have this. This is not about the photography. This is about God. <laughs> <laughs> Going up against. Not again. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, next week, we've got. Everybody give me everything. <laughs> Going up against. If you were to get like a passionate blowjob from an alligator and it didn't bite your dick off, you might feel pretty powerful. You know what I mean? Like, wow. dude, dude, alligator blowjob might make it to the finals. This is crazy. <laughs> Final four is going to be wild, ladies and gentlemen. I have says, a it's going to be blowjob great. from an alligator versus suck your cock for a thousand dollars. So great, uh, guys. And that, yeah. my friends, will be the ultimate. Brothers basketball beat off. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have multiple going brothers down. basketball beat offs on this show. You guys that, that has been the best. That has been. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Let me let, let me just get out of this. Get out quick. of here, and then, and then we're gonna get into the basketball beat off. Uh, that has been this week's episode of. <laughs> okay, the basketball beat off is gonna be what? Is you guys playing one on one? Yeah, yeah. one on one, one on one to eleven. Yeah, uh, we, ones and twos. We're, we're the first to have a heart attack. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like half court though, probably half yeah. court. Okay. Yeah, one, on one, to one of them's in their forties, dog. Give them a yeah. break. I couldn't do it. Fuck one it. of them's in their forties, and the other one's an overweight smoker. So it's going to yeah, be a listen, fucking battle and, to really be contended with. And the last oh, yeah. time that I practiced basketball, I just ran in a circle around the court dribbling for an hour. So oh, fuck shit. with me. I am ready to fuck you up. That was you practicing basketball? That's what you call That was me That was basketball. me practicing. That was me practicing I, cardio. You, you, you I'm sound like how you do that. that. Sounds like the same way the kids at school who like ride the sh the uh, the other bus that you practice basketball. That. I said other one. I didn't say a, a, another word other than other. That's fine. Peter, other say, fun, the Peter good. Dinklage Bus? No, no, no! I didn't say any of those words, and now I got to. Wait a minute, it. he can say it, but I can't. No, he can't. I, I got to edit it out too. Say it. I think you got to bleep it. Anybody can say no, it. No, oh, it's fine. If you are one, you can say it. It's like with rap music. I'm That's with God damn it. That's two. All right. Um, All yeah, I know. We're very excited for the Brothers Basketball beat off. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're excited. We're ready to go. Big Trox, you're going to get smoked. You're old and busted. Trox you're is washed out there up. working out like an elite athlete, and you look like Trailer Park <laughs> Tammy. Like, what the fuck are you talking I don't, about? I look like regular Tammy. He's washed up. <laughs> <laughs> you do look like a regular Tammy. You couldn't be more right. The, when, when it was, uh, That's a was, sick uh, lap name, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's regular Tammy. Um, yeah, no, we're excited for the brothers' basketball wow. beat off. Regular yeah. Tammy, you're the newest member of Griselda. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't wait to see Melissa McCarthy in front of your scrub hop. Do, do. Regular um, Tammy, do 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 do. That was good. 
right. Do we have something Otis, else going on, Big Trucks? Otis, then, we're, we're on. gonna we're gonna play a song. We're gonna come back and play some videos. Do you want to stick around? You wanna you wanna? I party? gotta go you to gonna... bed, man. I gotta. Why get don't you up go at like fucking six a.m. So it's please, where you are right on. now. I'm pretty sure it's like four forty-five in the morning, and we can't thank you enough for being here. It's been so nice for you to. Are you so phoning in time. from the Japanese islands right yeah. now? He, he is or calling he's from in Osaka Super right now. That's right. He's at the Guinness factory in Ireland right now, coming right. in live. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, Young Wicked, uh, congratulations on the uh, on the new record. We appreciate you, the bro. fuck out of you being here on the show. You guys, uh, thank uh, you for swaying all the good uh, clips. Everybody go get it. You can get a jersey. You can get hats, Shats. socks. You don't even have to know Riddle Box. Ooh, <laughs> look at that fucking hound dogs reference Otis is making there. Ooh, I like it. it. Uh yeah, go check love out, it. like he said, uh stream this bitch. He gets paid off of that. Go buy it. He gets paid off of that. Support young wicked and and Ooh. an exclusive, super fucking awesome A and B exclusive tonight. A and B recording a brand new record in Detroit at Astronomicon. You heard it here first. Scrub <laughs> Pop Talk. Uh, Young Wicked, thank you so much for being here, brother. Thanks for being we here, brother. Get the fuck you, out you. Check we the links you. in the description. Go buy the record. Check the links. Hit the links. Buy the Woo-hoo. fucking record. I love, love you, you guys. Man. Thank you so much for having We're me. We're going to go again. into a, a Scrub Hop classic jam right now. and We will come back and we will discuss and, and, and we'll see you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Happy Easter. Uh, Otis, we love you. Much love. This is this is Call Me Sir, the cut face remix. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen. BGC. We love you. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. What? Asshole. Uh, you are you're absolutely right, sir. You hit the nail right in the head. Find out where she is. This isn't over yet, Buster. Do you read me? Uh, loud and clear, Mr. Peterson. Call me sir, God damn it! Yes, yes, yes sir, yes sir. That's better. Understand these words, God damn it. Put them all on alert, God damn it. Then the man says birth, God damn it. You better call me sir, God damn it. Understand these words, God damn it. Put them all on alert, God damn it. Then the man says birth, God damn it. You better call me sir, God damn it. Hey. I command a certain level of respect. Watch your hand, lose a finger when I'm reaching for the check. Like, yoink, your boy been on point since I was a fat kid. Ad libs been oink, huh? God damn, this ain't even a request. Best address me as the man when you step into the set. Get played like toys when you try to play coy. Don't say hey, just say thanks and make noise, huh? I come through, I need to speak with your parents. We ain't on the same level, you can't keep what I'm sharing. I need your attention like Randy screaming for sharing. Any beat they present, I'm I'm leaving people embarrassed. Make them sleep in their carriage, that's a little crib. Rappers like my little kids acting up like Pickle Rick. They can tell I've been the shit with the pencil grip. Every bar ill, they refer to me as... Mr. Sick, understand these words, god damn it. Put them all on alert, god damn it. Then the man says birth, god damn it. You better call me, sir, god damn it. Understand these words, god damn it. Put them all on alert, god damn it. Then the man says birth, god damn it. You better call me, sir, god damn it. Another track of why your crew is whack as fuck and mine is not as if we need to spell it out again. Your lyrics always fly. The BDC's about meeting girls and meeting guys. Make your references, nobody. If I were you, I wouldn't try Strange ass dudes, fucking strange attitudes And if your top is cut low, we're probably staring at your boo Because we like everybody else that's on the rock, we're trying to live And if you have some, be involved with your kids If it's a battle, then let's go, I'm taking on the whole planet and once I win, you will bow and call me sir, god damn it Yo, but don't get up yet, because Yo, I'm not through speaking And you'll all get a bonus BDC set this evening Now you can stand up and put your fingers to the clouds Not everyone you've ever lost, hear how scrub up gets loud Yo, we bossing in the game like we're the owner of the ball Every track, every time, now we goddamn incredible Understand these words, god damn it Put them all on alert, god damn it Then the man says birth, god damn it You better call me sir, god damn it Understand these words, god damn it Put them all on alert, god damn it Then the man says birth, god damn it You better call me sir, god damn it My 
Roger Matters popping off in my direction. Better watch your tone, word choice, and your reflection. Or I'ma have to fuck around and get to teaching lessons. Cause nobody gives a fuck about, about you or your, your perception. perception on anything. Least of all, what we've been doing. Every single thing I've heard from you, you know we've been booing. We not arguing, stating facts, and preschooling. Remedial MCs, y'all need, need to keep moving. Be sure you call me, sir, goddammit, for I haul off and knock you off this planet. I hate your face, I mean I just can't stand it You're all ten ply, my team is hard as granite We set the tone and y'all just try to follow suit But your vocab is limited like you were crew The bar's too high, you'll never reach it, that's the truth The BDC, here for the babies and the youth Understand these words, goddammit Put them all on alert, goddammit Been the man since birth, goddammit You better call me sir, goddammit Understand these words, goddammit Put them all on alert, goddammit Been the man since birth, goddammit You better call me sir, goddammit Then you insult me, what the hell is the matter with you anyway? Uh, 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 well, I, I, I really don't know, sir, I mean, I, I, I didn't think I was talking to you I thought I was talking to somebody else You know, sir, that I would never deliberately insult you like that I, I, I can't begin to tell you how embarrassed I am <laughs> you better already have that on the soundboard if you don't have what the hell uh, for the soundboard you know i wanted to i <laughs> i thought about doing it and i was like i bet they're gonna want that right away but i didn't pull it yet it'll it'll be on there it'll be on there very let me hear it again it's so good <laughs> I'm just gonna say he's been taking his minutes off a few weeks in a row. It's good to see Hans Kim working again. <laughs> he's doing his stuff again. He's doing his thing. What the hell? Oh my god, dropping these poles like fucking Rick Diaz. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? That's a great for the podcast listeners. This guy's brandishing a fucking six foot pole ready to beat this guy coming into his yard he comes into his gate with his motorbike <laughs> hits the gate and it, he knocks himself out from the gate so the guy's like ready to beat his ass and he's like what the hell like i can't even hurt this guy because he just knocked himself out so That's great not how we well said it. thanks wise yeah, guys um before we get too far away from <laughs> no that one I don't know if that was a wise guy. It might have been. <laughs> you made it up. I don't know. It could have been. You, you made a you made a good guess. Thanks, wise guys. <laughs> He's responsible for a lot of our good clips. Um, Jeez, before we get too far away from it, I just want to thank Young Wicked for coming on the show. It was a really good interview. Yeah. We had a really good time with him. And I also want to shout out Call Me Sir by Big Dirty Cotton, uh, remixed by Cutface. And Cutface remix is hard. Uh, that link is in the description below. Please check that out. It's on Spotify. It's a really good song. Yeah, check out the uh, the the Scrub Hot, excuse me, Big Dirty Cotton, all cut up, copious notes remix. Absolutely. Check out Young Wicked Mixtape Volume 2 and Chain Smoker uh, 2 as well. Everything we discussed tonight. Mad love, mad props. Thanks, Young Wicked. You're the shit. Yeah. Now, to continue with something that we were talking about on uh, on the soundboard, on, on the fatter whack, I, I found a video clip that I think fits along with one of our buttons that won tonight. Okay. And, and let's watch this. I'd rather be with you, too. Yeah. Oh, oh no. I'm just going to mute it because uh, it's got music in it that's going to get us flagged. I'm going to start this over. Jay, can you tell us what's going on here? Yeah, this dumbass guy is taunting an alligator on the side of a highway, maybe in like Florida or something. And it's not even a huge alligator, but it's, it's about a baby to whoop, alligator. Like, whoop this guy's ass. Oh, it fucked it, his so leg. So it, it quickly uh, knocked him over, and it, now it's got him by his meniscus, and it's about to fucking rip his leg off. His, this he guy, doesn't have a. He this guy is. Guy. He this guy no longer has a leg. I can guarantee. Yeah, no. That. no, 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 no. That fine. leg, that wow. leg is gone. He got. Oh, is he, it? He, it ends there. You're not pausing it. Nope. It oh. ends there. He got. He got a little chunk taken out of his knee, but he. It, it's. It wasn't. It wasn't as much knee as he needs to keep on going. Get out of here, Benji. He's that fine, dude. Dude, dude. Look at him. Look at him. 
He after he had his knee shaken about for a moment, he's still got enough wherewithal. Think about to grab it. You're, you're I, 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 I just struggle with stuff. <laughs> your legs are back like that. What if he gets loose and re reattaches? That's your dick. And he did. He did. Maybe maybe the guy is just gone. Maybe his leg is fine because it's you know he did. We don't have a continuation of this film. I, this is no. sucks. Because if there was a continuation, <laughs> if there, I found I found audio of what the rest of this footage sounded like. It was like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, please, God, please, go, my dude. Please, 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 I thought he was saying, I'm glad he brought that back up. I thought he was saying, fuck Delilah. I thought that no, was I don't the think he fuck. is. He's saying, fuck he Delilah. Saying Delilah. Delilah, from back Delilah fuck. Okay. I'm like, I wanted to ask earlier, but I can't ask. Wait, <laughs> yeah, no, all right. I'm so glad right, you yeah, brought that back up. Yeah, that video sucked. That alligator shit was nasty. No, no, no. That, that video didn't suck enough as far as alligators go when I'm concerned. <laughs> this is for my juggalos and juggalettes. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> well, there's no audio here. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Talk about the greatest fucking punchline ever to a video. <laughs> so, uh, Jay, do you want to walk us through this one? I, I, I started to, and then you reacted very violently, and it, 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 it threw me. Uh, can you tell the folks out there what happened? Yeah, at first, there's a guy at a table literally doing the superhuman where he's about to jump into like a WWF fucking thing. <laughs> to all my juggalos and juggalettes. Jumps off the table. But the guy that like lit it <laughs> on fire <laughs> here with the gas tank. What the motherfuck? Because look, <laughs> right as he pours the gas, that flame goes up so fast. It, it, it has tapped his gas tank. He tried to and blow now, it out, though, which was then, smart. And as soon as he did that, I bet you it melted it, or it, it's, what do you think, it splattered it all? No, 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 what he did, yeah. after after he tried to blow it out, he then tried to smack it out, which then caused all of the remaining gasoline to shoot out of the can on him on fire. So now he's fully can, engulfed in flames. Can we also say that the guy that was set on fire to jump off the table was <laughs> never on fire? Like, he and, was fine. <laughs> And the guy who set him on fire is wearing orange, so it's kind of hard to see how much real impact he got from this. Disagree. Look. The guy's in full flames. And no, but you two, can't really tell. One. You can't really tell right here yes, at the end. Yes, you can. No, no, no. See, it's because it's like it blends in with his pants. <laughs> It's like he. he what did you just say? He forgot <laughs> to stop it with his pants. It does. It looks like his pants are just fully formed to the rest of his are body you at the end of it. No, it's the same color. Look, watch <laughs> pants. <laughs> He's fine. They're all fine. He's doing wow. fine. Do you guys think this guy's? I'm fine? not colorblind. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever been to a show at Red Rocks? Yeah. <laughs> I was it's drunk at like Red Rocks that. for hatchet attacks. I think that was me. That might no, have been you. You did fine. That was I footage did. of Jay Dirty. Yeah, this guy's uh, sliding down some icy stairs and then he goes <laughs> off the side and perhaps he's gone. Can we? I just want to hear it one more time because the sound of cheeks slapping against stairs is really yeah. funny to me. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever made cheek slap like that. Not at that. Rhythm. Oh, oh no, not at that rhythm. No, you never. Not could. that fast. It's always like. <laughs> That's even a little fast for me. I'm getting old. Nah, you got it. You got that, Can you brother. Stop? Can you stop? You're freaking me out. I'm like, a, um, when you've been in a swimming pool for too long. All right, this <laughs> one. So this one up. is very. So this is a video of a couple guys trying <laughs> to vandalize a business that's closed after hours because they're I've tried they to can't successfully vandalize. <laughs> Correct. So this surveillance footage shows three people approaching the entrance of a business in Trenton. One of them picks up a large planter box on the sidewalk <laughs> and tries to throw it at the restaurant. As they lift the box, as you saw right there, they stumble and fall to the ground, spilling a heap of soil on top of them. 
The group leaves, but one of them returns to put the ba box back in place. The <laughs> restaurant owner filed a report with OPP. You know You're what? down with OPP? I, I, I hope they didn't charge this kid who came back because I feel like he's the only one that they could identify with as much footage as, as they have. And they're probably going to charge Mac tool him. shirt. Yeah. 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 And they're probably going to charge this kid who came back to fix it. And he shouldn't be charged. Come on. Yeah. I've often wondered how to get past the high price of potting soil. I had no clue <laughs> tool noodles. Like that's that's a substitute for like hey, can your roots yeah. still grow? Like I am baffled <laughs> by this video right now. Wait, they wait, grow wait. Right using, the using that that's a thing that they do because it helps growth. Well, why else would they have it full of pool noodles? What is your excuse? Go ahead, do your little chuckle. What is your excuse? Why do they have pool noodles? <laughs> do your little chuckle. I don't what have a your... little chuckle for this. I'm just like I feel like I feel as though. They didn't want to take as much soil as it would take. To I fill think it's a display. The is what cotton is trying. Yeah, to yeah. So, so, so it's they use display. pool noodles to fill some of the. Yeah. Okay, in fairness, that's what I said. I just was funny. You had to get scientific. No, Maybe. that's not what you said. You said it as though pool noodles help growth of plants. And that's I'm what saying, I, would I said, argue. why would you use that as if they help? You know, we're doing a show. You should be here. It's like we're doing the same thing. <laughs> I want. I, I hope. Oh, I just love so, this. Watch so look at oh, Mac no. Tools is the guy that got hit in the back of the head. It wasn't even the guy who fe it all fell on. Mac yeah. Tools got hit with the foot, and he comes back. And he came I back. The he... dude that was on the floor came back. No, nope. he's a real one. But again, what the fuck? Like, I don't think pool noodles are good for growth. <laughs> I don't either. And I think Mac Tools to the rescue. That's the way. No, that I guys, do this I don't think that pool noodles are good for growth. No, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a pool noodle on your pants? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. No, that's All right. Growth. <laughs> we got a video. That's a growth. This, this is one that I think is fun and fancy free, and I'm very excited to watch. Oh this shit! This is funny. Because I saw this yesterday and it got me all jazzed up. It's fucking crazy. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on mute because, well, it's got music with it, so it'll probably get flagged. Well, yeah, do, we'll do put it on mute. Um, tell. I want you guys to break down what you're seeing right now because it's fucking bananas to me. Check this out. Well, that's rad. This that's is a breakdancer guy. This is a breakdancer dude who so far has not touched the ground with anything but his arms. For <sighs> Does anybody it. else feel like the judge was like, you better not put one foot down in front of a kid yeah. for 500 yards? Yeah, dude. <laughs> he was, the whole beginning of it, he's just It's incredible. I've never seen, look at this guy. He floats down to the ground and immediately balances on his arms and then just starts bouncing on his arms Can we look around at the, the hookup of that kid in the back like the freshest yellow power ranger ever <laughs> look at that fucking drip on that kid god damn did you see that young fucking fred durst over there whoa dude look at this fucking guy man i can't so Wait. to the podcast listeners, he has danced around on his wrist in every possible way, would never letting his feet or legs touch the ground. He is insanely ripped. He, he doesn't and let anything touch his He's, on, his, he's hands. on his fucking fingertips. It's dog. just it's just his hands that touch the entire time of this. This video. guy is more ripped than the seams of Cotton's pants. I'm so hard right now. <laughs> That's oh why God. they're ripped. You've got such a powerful erection, you rip your pants. I'm Thank sure. I it. wish. This, it, it's this beginning part that just kills me. Boom. And boom. 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 What yeah, the It's really fuck, insane. Dog? It's this really is the crazy. BBB school. Who knows what they're teaching? Is this they're Russia or the... Detroit? No, this is, this is Russia. This and is this out of their... Germany. <laughs> These kids are practicing for the brothers basketball beat off. They're, it's they're like... right there on the wall. How many how many circles do you do on your hands on your feet? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get out of this. this uh, we got a nice dumb joke out of that one. That's as much as we're getting. <laughs> Jay, I want to see that box. Please show. Come <laughs> on over there. Who's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? Not taking, give me the what's gun. in the fucking box? <sighs> Nine. Having a lot of fucking laughter tonight. That's for sure. Let's go. <laughs> 
So I got it's gonna go quick. I got some random ones. Now, if you guys wanna fight, I don't care. We can fight if you don't like my boxes. Cool. Dude, I would never pass up on titties from Jenny McCarthy for under a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna fight me, motherfucker? Same. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I got psychopathic so... boxing gloves. Oh my god. This so one hard. I, I call this one Jake Paul. This one's Tyson, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I thought the other one was going to be Aaron Paul. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Was, oh, I think he died. No, that was Carter. No, he's he's from Breaking Bad. It's just everybody with a face tattoo. I get him confused. They all look alike to me. I was going, I was going Breaking Bad and uh, Boxer. He said they Go all ahead. look alike to me. <laughs> it's hard to differentiate. Ah, uh, fuck. I got a super dope carnival of carnage cigarette case in case i ever need to go smoking some cigarettes. oh speaking some speaking of cigarettes i love tobacco more than i love talking puss yep <laughs> uh, here. Some, some cigars and some cigarillos uh some prime time uh, nice. that, that boy so that that's pretty dope. We uh, all know how much Jay Dirty loves talking puss. Go ahead. I got a super pretty, like, 3D dope ass ring, ma- or, it's ring master, riddle box charm. So that's dope. <laughs> this guy doesn't even know that's riddle box. Come on. Hats and socks. We're getting there. <laughs> Look at this. This guy here is a dope ass, the newest version of the so Blu ray uh, United States of Insanity. Cotton hasn't uh, seen that yet. You got to watch that, Cotton. It's on like it. anywhere you like YouTube or Amazon, but yeah, the, the Blu ray just came out with the slip cover, so that's super fresh. Now, the coolest no thing of them all no hype sticker, it didn't come sealed, the in, it's sealed underneath the slip case. This guy here is not sealed, there's no hype sticker, but this is some fucking epic. Oh, that's the most hostiles. It is a most hostiles. Look at that, it's like a printed hype sticker. It's hard That's to dope. featuring so, track so, with the so, same clown posse. I was being uh, facetious. Can you tell the folks what that is, Jay Dirty? This here, Cotton, you you represent the people. I know what it is. What is this? Most tasteless with the hype sticker. It's not a hype sticker. We just discussed that. Are you it's here? A printed. It's a printed hype sticker. It's a different kind of flavor. You know but why? It it's a different kind of flavor. Because it's on because... a fucking cassette, and it's not Listen, a fucking. I... Album, it's not it's not a CD hype sticker, you fuck. Because you in, did a good job, Cotton. <laughs> in the country of Malaysia, <laughs> where this came out, they don't make hype stickers. They just have printers. This is well, the Malaysian cassette release, and I'm not even kidding, of Most Hostiles. Fucking awesome. I've been looking for this bitch for years. Discogs that popped up. <laughs> Did I negotiate? Did I OBO? Nope. I paid full sticker price because I didn't want anybody else to get this thing. So do that you is... think that uh, other than just pressing that for Malaysia, do you think that that uh, in Malaysia they also honor $100 bets with your friends that you lost? Because in that case, maybe we have a lot to learn from Malaysia other than just the way that they do hype stickers. Look, we could you know what I mean? a whole setup to Young Wicked and he'd be like, you obviously are right, J Dirty. You lost. I don't know what. Oh, you're oh, is he on the show? Your lack, oh, is, is your he lack on the of show? Knowledge does not change you being right or wrong. Oh, hey, young wicked, oh, can we ask you a question? Hey, young wicked, can we ask you something? You could have while I was here, but you were sleeping. He's not, he's not here. I wasn't no. sleeping. I was interacting. You're being a jerk. Uh, that was right. a lovely box you had. I really love. You know it. what? I have more. Do you want me to keep you up more? <laughs> you go right ahead, you piece of shit. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, I got a drill pass too. I got another flag for my flag it collection. <laughs> Take him out of it. Take him out of it. He's going to get us banned. Go. Go. <laughs> what's going on over there? Who's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? What's in the fucking box? You son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. You this is a really fun a bitch. <laughs> this is a really good time on this show. Uh, let's get into Nat for here. You can't say it like that. <laughs> I didn't say it the wrong way. Uh, you said it fine. It, it cut you off early enough. I fine. think we're okay. That was good. 
This is Hans Kim. This is Hans Kim. You go. Big Trucks, what are you watching? Big Trucks, what do you got, you rat fan? First of all, I finally got caught up on the brand new season of Power Book 3, or maybe Book 4, Raising Canaan. The one that's about Canaan's backstory in the early 90s. Mm -hmm. And man, the finale was incredible. Everybody's got to go watch it. I've been talking about this show for like three years now. And I finally finished this season. Top notch, really good. It's all I'm going to say. I've mentioned it multiple times. Go watch it. The new show that I started last night with Mayhem is fucking wild. And you guys both need to check it out. The audience needs to check this out. I think I know what you're going to say. Do you know? I think it's what I just kind of started. Let's see. Uh, This is the new show on uh, on Max Max called Quiet on the Set. Yep. Jay Dirty. I don't know about this. Quiet yes, on you the do. Set you just don't think you do, but you do. Is a new show. It's a documentary on Max that is focused on the the broadcasting on Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon. in the late mid to late nineties and the mishandling and abuse of children that was going on during that time on those this shows. When I was a big Nickelodeon fan. This is that was oh, like all bro, I was watching. Your childhood is about to be over. That guy is it Dan Schneider or Schaefer? Dan or Schneider. Or? Dan Schneider is like, he a nightmare. Oh, a this dude is like fucking he's scumbag. been exposed as a pederast like over What's and a over. What's pederast? Yeah, dog, like, shut the fuck up, Donnie. For, for years, I've been seeing things about Nickelodeon and like the weird, like, foot fetish shit that goes on there. Yeah. And, and then I, I had to laugh when someone was like, and Nickelodeon executives said they had no clue about the foot fetish thing. And then they fast forward it or rewind it. The old Nickelodeon logo was a fucking foot. Yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah, dog, this so, show. I- Jay, you go, how far are you? Yours. I no, just okay. started it. Yeah, no, no, I'm not far at all. But so I watched I'm, so many clips leading up to starting the show. So I'm, I'm an very episode aware. and a half in so a far. Bummer. And the majority Bro, of what is. I've... It's fucking a major bummer, dog. The majority of what I've heard so far is all about all that and the Amanda show. And I was going to say, is Amanda Bynes heavily Basically, in this? Like, Amanda Bynes is being justified. Or is that the right word? Like, vindicated. Yeah. Like, yes. like, like, this like she was, man, crazy. like she was, she was like used and manipulated abused. for her entire life. Yeah, man. Like this yeah. dude was Britney's dad to all these kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like in a weird way. Like it's fucking nuts. It's fucking Oof. crazy, Cotton. It's it's Gar- a wild knock. We're only two I episodes. Carly, over. all that uh, uh, Ariana Grande show. Oh man, and some of those clips of the shit that they had Ariana Grande doing that I was like, oh, oh my god, she was like eleven. What Bro, the fuck they basically is going on? They're, they're showing clips from these shows of these kids like simulating blowjobs with bananas and fucking shit. It's it's disgustingly crazy. Ugh. And when yeah. it. When it's uh, uh, Ari- Ariana Grande trying to, to uh, juice a potato, and like and like, yeah, she's like, just like it and, looked and like a TikTok like, fucking video that would get for me. And the the writers and directors are on here getting uh, interviewed, and they're like, "Yeah, this is fucking horrible. Like, I I don't know how this ever got out there. Like, how this was like they they were obviously it got real dark, real." Now, have, you, have you seen any interviews with this Dan dude since? No, I have not yet. So I'm like I said, I'm not. He has even... like come out like I, I was wrong. I shouldn't have done these things. He's basically he can't deny anything. There's hours and hours and hours of footage and all these testimonials. He's he has to say it's true, and I'm sorry, and I shouldn't Man. have done it. It's even creepier. It's fucking. We're gonna put weird. him under the jail, bro. Th- they should. There, there's one clip in uh, of <sighs> one of the. He was very touchy, bro. And one of the female writers on the show saying that he, because he was like the creator and executive producer, and he told her that while she did her pitch, she had to lean over the desk and pretend like she was getting sodomized while she did her pitch. 
for the show in front of the entire male writing staff. Well, that's normal. That's a normal thing that you do in pitch meetings. That's a normal work. That's a workplace <laughs> normalcy, right? I've been, <laughs> I've been, I've been having a lot of interviews lately, and that's what they all ask you to do. <laughs> I saw footage of that girl Miranda Cosgrove, who's like iCarly, I believe. Yeah, right? yeah. On her 18th birthday, she turned 18 on the set. And they're like, hey, like the the director's like, we love you. You've done great. And that guy, Dan, is like hugging her over her shoulders, touching her. And she's just trying to get away from him. Like there's so much footage of this dude being like to all of those girls and and kind of making the dudes do shit, too. But all of those girls like the dude's a fucking creeper, man. But he's like, I did it. What do you want me to say? You got me. Red-handed. Well, it's crazy, man. Hey, oh, 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 hopefully they just fucking throw him uh, in solitary and leave him there forever. That'd, that'd be cool. That's that's. But, but what about all the other the film crew, the 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 people yeah. who were like, there's there. He's not the only adult. Like, what what about those? Like, what's your that was I don't know, that, that, that was what was charged. brought up. That, that that that's what's been brought up with every single one of these cases when they were talking about Epstein and Bill Cosby and shit like that. It's the amount of people that are complicit. In their fucking crimes is insane. Yeah, there's a like there's a story so in this doc. People. There's a story in this doc about uh, one of the production assistants who was like be- befriended this like 11 year old girl, and then started sending her dick pics. And it's like what it, it, it like. And these and, are the uh, kids that are supposed to be entertaining yeah. our kids and being wholesome kids, and they're getting fucking. Yeah. That's not wholesome. That's that's. that's abuse man it's, and back then they couldn't even send dick pics via phone so were those like like snail mail dick pics that they were sending email what a what a weird <laughs> valid question though. like i didn't even think about that you're right <laughs> you couldn't even send weird. dick pics via phone back in 98 no. i mean no. that's that's a whole new thing i used to i used to take polaroids and mail them to my girlfriend <laughs> i still do <laughs> <laughs> I take Polaroids in my dick and mail them to your girlfriend all the time. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks Sorry. for bringing this back. Uh, let me get off of this stuff. That, that just got way it, dark and but, way depressing. But it's very much, it's creepily worth watching. Watch it. I will, Watch I will, it. I will check it's that called, out. That's, that's it's called I'm Quiet nowhere on the near set. done with it. Yeah. They've, they got a bunch of people like writers, not a bunch, but the, the, even the writers that do it, they're like, hey, obviously everyone's afraid of Dan Schneider. That's why they're not willing to do the show. And that's why they're not willing to come out and say anything publicly. But like a man, a man came out and said she wouldn't do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, look how fucked like what the way that he manipulated Amanda Bynes is fucked up. But like, what, what, what does he still have on these people today? I don't know. Probably just Amanda Bynes isn't still trying to get on Parent Trap three. Just years of psychological abuse, probably. You know what I mean? No, but like, but what I mean is, why be afraid of him well, today? Like, you, the, you don't still work so that, with this guy. So the pretty much the entire secondary cast, like of the the second iteration of all of that, came out on that doc, and and all were like, yeah, this guy's a fucking scumbag, and and you know, it it was yeah, bad. No, there's news nobody over. that seems to be supporting him, but no, or, or or having his back. You know what I mean? But yeah, I I, I wasn't gonna bring that up because uh, uh, I haven't. Sorry. Finished. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, that wasn't going to be my. wasn't going to be my submission to. I'm just playing. Yeah. Um, Take me I, into it, Jay. I kind of feel like not saying anything at this point, but um, no. What I watched was a whack podcast, but I watched it because the clowns were involved. Uh, Shaggy Two Dope did clown this. Um, I was going to say it was not entertaining. Uh, it was just Shaggy doing a normal Shaggy show. With uh, as if Clownvis was his guest. Clownvis uh, uh, Cotton is a cl- uh, Elvis impersonator who also paints his face. The clowns have been using him a lot for events, so Clownvis has kind of interweaved himself. Into He's like a host world. for shit. Yeah, and, he and he everything. hosts shit. You know what? You've seen Clownvis, actually. Yes. When, when we went to the Stampede, he was the MC was that Clownvis night there? of that tour. Okay. Yes. Clownvis <laughs> MC that um whatever tour that was that we went to. I forget. It was a weird show. Yeah. It was a weird it show. Was. The Stampede, but yeah, it was at a country bumpkin bar with Waylon yeah. Jennings. Um, 
Yeah, so anyway, I watched that, but I also have been watching a lot of clips of what you were talking about. Obviously, the 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 new KT was amazing. Um, oh, my God. With, with the homie uh, Dan Soder, for sure. Um, one wow. day, I'm going to get on his show to tell the story about hitting him in the head with a padlock. I just feel like we need to tell our story. But until then, that's what I've been watching, and uh, fuck yeah to Netflix. <coughs> that's have great. Off button. Um, that's fine. Um, I'll tell you guys, this is the first time ever I'm ever going to do this during this segment, and I hope it's the last. Um, I am a gas to... station beer from Chill <laughs> Valley. <laughs> I'm going to take this minute to give attraction on this program because I don't think either of you guys have watched it yet. Give it attraction. Um, when I We're recommended, <laughs> when I recommended Spaceman to you guys, that was a bit, it wasn't a good movie. I was doing it as a bit. I was doing it because I was wanting somebody else to watch it and to feel how I felt. I did not appreciate the film whatsoever, so I'm, I'm doing that first as a traction really? on this program. You didn't yeah, like really. The Adam Sandler movie. I did not. I did not like it at all. It was it it tr- it was That's way a weird too thing self. It, took. it was it was way too self important. I thought that I thought that one of you guys might. He's watch in it. space with a monkey. How is that self important? It's not a it's not a monkey. It's a space tarantula. It's a giant space tarantula that comes into the spaceship and talks to him the whole time. It is, uh, it re- it really tries to be intelligent and self important, and it just doesn't hit the fucking mark. It was, it was, it was a real oh. letdown. So I was doing that as a bit. You guys didn't watch it. It didn't. The, the bit never collected for me. I didn't. No, feel I like was. I, wanted I was to keep busy going. watching the insane clown posse on your mom's house, and and the night my my childhood just crumbling in front of my eyes. So. What I, I literally, to do, I gotta tell you, I I've heard someone at work said it was fucking good and funny and like not the great. They didn't say it was the greatest thing ever, but they said it was worth watching. Uh, and I thought you were agree. No, I don't think it's really that good. Your first statement last week was how you like, you were just trying to like you tried to bait us. You yeah, baited us. I was, us trying, to bait, I was trying to bait you guys into watching a movie that I was upset he that ba- I was watching. Jake, you baited us on a bait um, for a movie. This here. is a very weird segment. This so no, but thing. no, but I, I bring that up to take it back because what I it's want like to happen a slow want, kid. It's a weird take. <laughs> what I want to recommend to you guys this week <laughs> is a movie that is weird. <laughs> it's it's a movie that we're not bleeping that. It's a movie that is weird. Not the that one that I'm recommending to you guys this week, <laughs> but no, we don't need to. Um, but it, it but it was to do about the owner of a facility or a festival. <laughs> other than just being a weird film, it was way more thought provoking, way more interesting. Are you guys aware of this newest Nicolas Cage movie, Dream Scenario? Are you aware of this? I'm a, yeah, I'm, I'm aware this? of it, and, and I'm I'm very interested in it, but I have not seen it. No. Nicolas Cage plays a fucking middle aged um, college professor who randomly starts showing up in people's dreams. Yeah. So it's just a bunch of people report seeing this one guy in their dream and that he's just in it. And, and he is it. consciously in their dreams? Uh, no, no, no. Not, oh. That's as, as, as far as he's just walking around and people are saying, you He's in starring my dream, in all in of dream. their dreams, but he yes. is the character and, and, does not know the, it. The, yeah. The, the synopsis I read was like, like people just walk up to him and like, you're in my dream. Yes. And then that just keeps happening. And like, he that was in is everyone's the, dream. And it starts to the, fuck with his head. It does way more than that. It it it, it evolves it's and like devolves. It is fucking yeah. It's it's, it's like a passionate blowjob. Dude, the whole world is gay. You know, it's yeah. crazy. Um, but no, it is really like super thought provoking. It it breaks down like what if something like this happened? What would be the ramifications of something like this? And it breaks it down in like a very realistic way. It it's like is Black fucking... Mirror meets John Malkovich. Yeah, but you know what, man? Like Nicolas Cage, I think up until the past like few years was like most of his movies were pretty much laughed at. Like the majority of the shit that he would make from like the I mid. I don't know that I agree with that. The, 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 okay. So like the I late just feel 2000s. Like he's, I just feel like he's aware of himself. The late like, he's 2000s. Still, he's still, but he still had good movies in that mix. Where? Of okay. Like, no, I'm saying, hold on. There were saying, several. From, there, there were from, several. Like, 2000, in, in, like, from 2009 yeah, in last, to 2019. In the last 10 years, 
he has had multiple good movies that have just been like spattered in between his like because he he's one of these actors that he's like i'll do fucking 15 b movies a year and then i'll do like two really good movies wait a minute i thought we've discussed this before i thought he got exposed for having a horrible gambling problem and like these movies were like he was doing all these little movies to like I didn't Get. know that we discuss that. That's no, oh, maybe we haven't. I, I, I no. swear to God, like I'm not bullshitting. I heard no, like I saw something that he was like in crazy debt, and he's doing all these little movies to get himself out of debt. Like he's like, I'll do That's Mr. Wonderland's Wild Ride, and I'll do Renfield, and like, the, the, I, I, I heard, and but see, Ren, I heard Renfield. Was it was great. funny. It was, it was hilarious. But I'm just saying. It was fucking the, corny and weird the point, too. The the point that I was making is that in the past few years, I feel like every film that he's made has been like critically acclaimed and been yeah. like highly sought after. And this oh, one know. is one of the one of them was like a mock biopic. You know what I uh-huh. mean? Which 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 I heard was incredible. One of them, he was the, every um, character. The yep. insufferable weight of uh, of something talent of, of incredible talent yeah. or something like that. It, it I that's what I'm saying. This movie was another thing like that, where it was like, man, you're watching this guy who is at the top of his fucking game. Every decision he makes is still just as weird as ever, and it's still really fucking good. So, shouts out Nicolas Cage. We'd love to have you on the program. We'll have you on anytime. Nicolas Cage admits to having taken crummy roles to pay back debt. Nicolas Cage, $6 million in debt after blowing much of his career earnings on real estate prior to the market crashing. Wow. Yeah, so I was like, and these are these are dated a few years. I say I remember hearing about this. Like he said, I'm just doing these movies to like get out of. Oh, he's like, still he's still great. You ever heard? Of oh him? yeah, I'm he just saying. I think that's why some were shitty because he was like, I'll do what you need. I'll do the Bruce Willis thing, but with a brain. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's what I recommend this week. What too soon for a scarecrow reference? Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. <laughs> what to do? I never um, know. Show. You guys are sensitive. Are we done? Are we, oh, yeah, we're sensitive. Let's go. We're going let's to go Florida. <laughs> take, me, take me to the southern region. Let's go. Florida, man. Florida, man. Florida, man. Oh, <laughs> this was there's a Florida man, Florida woman arrested after gun found in child lunchbox at daycare. Police say now this story is <laughs> un. I don't want to be a dick, but they why didn't they arrest the child? Yeah, the kids packing the, heat. The kids right. complicit. The kids complicit. Is that the mom or the child? She looks young as fuck. <laughs> that is the mother. Don't shame. Uh, this is in Riviera Beach. Shame. Florida. I wish I looked that good. She's 39, bro. <laughs> I wish I looked like a 39 year old black woman. Me too. <laughs> I know, right? You do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Big I don't even know what that means. <laughs> You oh, have a Florida woman is facing charges after a gun was found inside a child's <laughs> house. <laughs> Take care, teacher, she's dead. Uh, Sinead Davis, Davis, 39, was arrested on charges of child neglect and allowing a minor to obtain a firearm to take to school, according to an arrest affidavit. On March 14th, the daycare teacher called Riviera Beach Police after finding a gun in a child's lunchbox. The teacher told police she was opening up the child's lunchbox and screamed, Gun! When she saw the firearm inside of it, the affidavit yeah. said. I wish that little kid would have ran up, slammed the shut, like, mind your business, bitch. <laughs> I said, grab my Capri son, ho. <laughs> no, bitch. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yes, perfect. Oh, good. my God. This is awesome. Uh, when Davis arrived, she told law enforcement that she normally leaves a gun in her car's glove box, but lately had been taking the weapon out of the car because of the multiple break-ins at her apartment complex a report stated she said oh, on the morning to my kids lunchable 
Yeah, she said on the on that morning while she was getting the child ready for school, she placed the gun inside the lunchbox because she did not carry a purse and did not want the gun to be visible. Same. Davis Dude, makes sense. <laughs> this all tracks. Davis told police she forgot to take the gun out of the lunchbox. Though the owner of the school did not want to press charges, Davis was taken into custody and booked into the Palm Beach County Jail. What do you guys think? Mommy cut your crust off and she put in a couple of those cuties you like, but be sure to bring home her uh, her Tech 9, okay? We love you. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> you remember back in the day, Trox, and maybe Cotton in Colorado, a kid got in trouble or mom did for bringing a butter knife to school in their lunchbox. Yeah. Like, that was a real thing. Now kids are taking guns to school. I don't even know what to say to this. This, Dog, is, crazy this, is, fuck. this is not school. I would like to remind you. This is at a daycare. Oh. Yeah. This is someone oh. under four years old that has a gun in their lunchbox. Well, under four, well, you got to protect yourself. Yeah. And also, <laughs> what, are they going to use it? Like, are they worried about them using it? Can, fucking four-year-olds can barely fucking control that. What shit. is a four year Can they pull a trigger? They go pew, pew. Like, yeah. big fucking deal. They're going to try to pull it and be like, hey, it hurts. Can you help? You know what I mean? Like, they're, they're not going to yeah. be able to help. figure it out. Help. You're, having, help. you're having flashbacks help. to, like, the locker room in middle school. I, just, I, I picture my toddler going, help. 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 <laughs> oh, my God, dude. That's dark. Oh, dude. Do you think about how dark that is, what you just said? Pull, that's pull a dark this trigger thing. for me. It's pull. Out of here. Florida, man. Florida, man. Florida, man. That's one thing about big trucks. He can't even fucking pull, dude. <laughs> you can't pull. <laughs> you pull. Whatever, you dog. That's you all day. You Not know you can't fucking pull, loser. Kyle. You can't pull. Get, you don't get to remix it back to him. I oh, do get, get to do that. It's all oh my the no. unpullable Troxy cotton. Oh, yeah, how does horse have a wooden dick? <laughs> <laughs> you know it does. Fucking hilarious. What is all right, y'all. I think we need to go home. What is Jay Dirty? Let's, let's take it out of here. I'm a wordsmith. Oh, Jay Dirty is a wordsmith. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, you guys, thank you so Jay. much for being a part of 188 Scrub Hop Talk. Uh, you, the shitheads, thank you guys for being here. And of course, uh, super shout out and thank you to our homie Young Wicked for coming Man. on here, uh, talking about his new record, talking about Chain Smoker 2. My best Go friend. check out both records right now. He's, he's talking about posts music. for a while, too. The, the Young Wicked Volume 2 mixtape. Go check that shit out. We love uh, Otis here on the show, and we love you, shitheads. Thank you guys very yeah. much for being here. Uh, uh, also, like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let people know you are here fucking with Scrub Hop Talk, twitch.tv slash Scrub Hop. You are here. Sure. If you're not in, you're on scrubhop.com. You're on our YouTube channel. No matter where you are, like, share, comment, subscribe, and tell your motherfucking friends, guys. We wait, appreciate God, wait, 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 you. Wait, that is absolutely correct. Uh, correct. <laughs> That's so funny that we we're trying to do promos, and I can think about that guy getting his dick twisted off. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, follow <laughs> at, at Scrub Hop on everything, everything on social media. Search at Scrub Hop. Follow us on all of our shit. We appreciate can they send us any videos? You guys can send oh, oh. us videos 303-578-8952. That's Tracy's tip nine three zero three five seven eight eight nine five two. Uh oh. if you send enough clips, I'm telling you right now, it could become your tip line. But yeah. Tracy's beating y'all motherfuckers. Now. That's true. There's there's an emergency going on right now, and you don't believe me. Uh, Tracy's tip line 303 578 8952. You can also follow us on patreon.com slash scrub hop. Five dollars a month gets you a subscription, a membership to help us keep our lights on over here. We appreciate that. Five dollars a month, patreon.com slash scrub hop. I don't know what else we got. That's uh, it is. You, you, you know how we do it over here. We uh, you, <laughs> go ahead. Um, that's the patreon.com uh, slash scrub hop. That's true. And, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just and, here to and what. One more again. You can support us financially at piground.com. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> there we go. That's offensive. The way we play. That. <laughs> Guys, we're here for you. And it's a weekly thing that we do it. Maybe even bi-weekly. Maybe we're all bi. Who knows? The important thing is that we're here to do it for I'm you. I'm not bi, but I'm for sale. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> same deal, buddy. Um, Go ahead and join us next week. Join us every week, forever, all the weeks. If there's a week and we're here... Okay. Join us, motherfucker. We're going to be doing it. 
live and uh, additionally on Scrub Hop Talk. And we love you guys so much. Go ahead and tell us how much you love us. Goodbye. Rest in peace, peace everybody. Call. We'll see you guys next week. Subscribe. They've been waiting for me to come out the basement and bring out my fear and face it and show them who Wicked Willie is and kick it wicked and show them all that the kid is better than I ever was and I'm really one in a million. A lot of people been talking about how I'm not the prodigy and the products are too different but that's some silly shit. I've been the ghost since they calling me cutting thoughts and every microphone is toast when I touch it cause I've been killing shit. Yeah, yeah. and I won't stop until I'm touching the top and my numbers is on a billion. They couldn't kill me or keep me from getting money and fucking it up for nothing cause motherfuckers is really bitch. You have hard to get past on and I'm back on him with the axe sharp and the facts all that I'm still the shit The stack taller, the rap part of the label Jack Slaughter and got money off it but they didn't fill me in Well you can keep it, I ain't tripping I'm treating you suckers like you suck at semen Not the pussy that I skied it in I keep it pushing for people who keep it hustling And steady building me up cause these motherfuckers believe in it I break it down like a blunt and I put the weed in it You getting smoke when you focused on being devious You can't focus me up, it's a little wheezy here While y'all been choking and stroking your little baby dick Yeah and I've never been obedient I'm vicious like if someone took a wolf and started breeding it With a pity, I'm fucking up the whole city My shit is hitting so hard you gotta run up just to see the shit Whether you copping the CD or if you streaming it Whether you bought an MP3 or if you stealing it Whether you realize the underground is needing it You recognize that your wicked is really bringing it Uh, the other shit is so meaningless The game is cold but you know that my flow is heating it And I'm creating my life because I've been dreaming it And at the top of my lungs I gotta be screaming it I'll cut your head off like Petey from Dumb and Dumber I'm sick in this motherfucker and every beat I've been eating it The dope rap is crazy like broken Matt Hardy Don't get me started, competition, I've been deleting it I live my life with the bright on and I've been beaming it I kill the verse like an obituary reading, bitch I kick a ball that is so intricately tedious I'm in your face like a movie they shot in 3 years. I got the ladies saying, oh, he is the dreamiest I got the bait talking about, oh, he is the greediest I want it all and when I get it, I be keeping it But I'll be gone before they realize how deep he is Deep he is, deep he is, deep he is, deep he is.